walk these streets with diamonds in our eyes Out with the vampires under a midnight sky My mind so hypnotized It was exciting It was the 90s Daddy always said that I was going too far I said there's never any compromising If you try to win the battle to be who you are I dance to the left, I dance to the right Hold hands with my demons and creatures of night On an undercover mission to find
Hartford, Connecticut. What is up in the house? It is Rambo Bambo coming at you live Saturday night. Saturday night fun style, chill style, meaningful style. All the styles coming in here today. Saturday night, Saturday night. And I hope it's okay for asking the king. Of course, I'm not alone today. I am not alone today. Brought a legendary legend for us to enjoy these Ask the Kings with. Goes by the name of Atlas the Bookkeeper. How you feeling, my friend? I'm, I'm feeling, feeling great. great. It is nice to have you with us here today. Today, today. Can you believe it? It is time. And Atlas the Bookkeeper, are you ready to enjoy our di daily delve into Ask the King, please? I sure, I sure hope so. so. I'm, I'm so, so ready, ready for, for the, the guy. guy. Atlas, you're going to have to speak a little. I got to turn on Atlas's mic here. Hang on. I'll get it ready. Atlas Atlas is new to the studio, okay? Atlas, yeah. now you can talk. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, oh, <yeah>. yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was an echo, but now it's gone, okay? it what, No need for disaster. A Atlas has figured it out. Is your, are your mic settings all right, Atlas, now? Come on. Uh, 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 I hope so. Yes, is okay. It? He's fixed it. He's fixed it now. It's all fine now. You guys are all legends. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. And today, big news, huge news. Frog Machine in the house has, Frog Machine, not in the house, but in the house in terms of being a legend. He has acquired, how should I say this? Acquired the episode four we thought was lost. He found it. And we are going to enjoy Ask the King episode four now. Previously, we thought it was lost media. Atlas, but it is not. Frog Machine has found it. We now are watching episode four tonight. How hype is that? Come on. Uh, yo, shout out Frog Machine. I didn't know episode four was lost, but I'm glad we have it. Yes. So, so right now, all the thing we're missing is episode two, episode three, and episode five. Those are still lost to time. However, one day I'm confident we'll be able to find those. Hopefully. You never know. But um, two, three, and five now are the only ones that are missing. And today we can enjoy Episode we're 150 three. people here on uh, anyways. tonight, and we got about 20 oh, likes. It would be great if we could do better than that. Maybe we could do better than, uh, than 20 likes, guys. Likes on every better than 20 likes. Me the favor. Thanks so <laughs> we got to do better than 20 <laughs> likes, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's just get to it. No need to talk about it. We're track, we, w the things we track here is berating the questioner. We track the literally counter. We track the how many times he flashed a paper, how many questions, and, of course, we always track the, hey, this is super funny, uh, let's, let me tell this story and it's always not funny. So bookkeeper, you're in the house to make sure I, uh, should I call you Atlas or bookkeeper? What's your preference, sir? Oh, Atlas is fine. Atlas, Atlas okay, is fine. Okay. <laughs> you're in charge of making sure I don't miss any of those too. But, uh, without I will further try my ado, best. let's just get getting funny, fucking into it. Episode four is not lost. We are in the house. Episode four. Let's fucking go. It is time. Right go. Now, we only got about 30 Play likes up, on the stream, but we agreed to get a lot more than that because we have hundreds of people watching. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. What's up, everyone? DSP here, and welcome to the December 9th. Okay, so we got the black bagging shirt. Black, black, but not bagging. Okay, so this is just black before bagging. Before bagging Yo, black. Yo, black on black is clean, though. <laughs> oh, you're liking the drip? <laughs> oh, dripped out of his mind. Come on now, it's the guy after all. <laughs> okay. Atlas enjoying the drip. All right, let's go. Of Ask the King. And you have to pardon me for a couple reasons. First of all, it is uh -oh. extremely cold here in Connecticut, below freezing. And uh, it's so cold that this is actually the first day this year, well, this winter, well, it's not even winter, this Jesus. season, this I season. Turn on the heat. So, I actually have an electric heater, um, well, electric heat. Great condo, is it, <laughs> how cold is this, what? In the condo, which means that when you turn it off. He was just time, calling us a weatherman, for sure. Uh-huh. And uh, I don't think it's going to be much of an exception, it's probably going to be pretty stinky. So if you see me kind of going like this with my nose, or like this is probably because there's a stinky smell going on right now, at least for the first day usually. If my nose hasn't become accustomed to the smell yet, you might see me do this. Just be ready for that, okay? <laughs> This dude's That's such a problem. weirdo, man. <laughs> I want to see that look again. Hold on. Pretty stinky. Really yeah, let's see. Kind of. A little go. stinky. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's the face we're looking for. Let's roll. Going like this with my nose, or like this, probably because there's a stinky smell going on right now. At least for the first day, usually it does that. Um, the other thing is, the other thing is, I've actually been expecting uh -oh. a delivery all day today and uh it's now two in the afternoon i still don't have it they have to deliver by five 
I tried to hold they up. Have to. They have to. <laughs> they don't. What's going to happen if they don't? Uh oh. Contractually obligated. <laughs> Amazon driver. Get your ass over here. Get your ass out there and work. I'm going to start, and if the phone rings or if we get interrupted, we hear a knock at the door or whatever, we'll just have to stop. In fact, that reminds me. Let me open my door here so I can hear if there is a knock. Yo, even back then, he was getting up off the camera. <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. The other day, there actually was a delivery here, and, uh... Hang on a second, guys. They knocked. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, he pulled it out <laughs> yeah. before he Yo, sat down. <laughs> yeah, I was getting it ready. Ready? Here we go, boys. Here, and, uh... Hold on. I got a second here. They knocked. Boom. Pulled it out. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> That's why they're coming back today. Um, okay, whatever. So anyway, let's get right to it. Your question. Anyway. So, uh -huh. <laughs> the, first, uh -huh. the first question is from Broly Nick. That's why I couldn't understand it. It's all one word. Broly Nick. His question is... <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, Broly Nick. Names are hard. Yeah. Know that you are this big on YouTube, and if so, do they ever watch your videos? Thanks. Um, first of all, I don't know what you mean by this big, meaning like... <laughs> Honestly, oh my god. <laughs> what is it? Hold on a second. First, we have to define big. <laughs> That's what he's saying here. Yeah, he always <laughs> needs the, the specifics on what you're talking about when he does these questions. How big are we talking? Uh, hang Come on. on. A uh, okay, big. What exactly is big? Now, that's kind of a deep question here. <laughs> Is any like top 100 on YouTube? Oh yeah, this is this is this is definitely prime time. Absolutely prime time here. Uh this is I mean, this is when he's on the right, not his highest point, but by any means, but he's on the way up. You know what I'm saying? He is like getting up there. This is absolutely feeling good about himself now. Seems but yeah, he's I mean, one of the guys. Yeah, yeah. But this is still, though, we should say this is still when he's unsure about it. It's uh, its future as a career. right? He's not like I'm definitely doing this. He's still in the I'm not sure style time. You know, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this, but I hope it can work out kind of. But he's getting a fuck ton of views already. Yes. So there we go. This, he's not rolling in dough, though, at this point, because this is even before he has Machinima's backing and all that stuff. He's still hoping it's going to work out, okay? Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. Channels are like, for example, Ray William Johnson. You don't oh, have Ray William Johnson, big shout out. Yo, Ray big William ups. <laughs> you have like people who saw one of his videos, thought he was funny, subscribed, and every once in a while they go back and check. Uh -huh. um, and then by word of mouth, other people subscribe. To me, it seems like at least my fan base seems a lot more into what I do, meaning they come back, they watch the full series of 30, 40 videos. They're more into what I do, okay? Yeah, um, dude. Like, He's got a way more website. popular, or like, they're way more into what he does than uh -huh. Ray William Johnson, obviously. Uh -huh. I would 40 say, likes oh, 40 climbing. likes. It'd be great if we could get a bunch of hey, videos, everybody. 200 viewers. It'd be great if we could get some more likes. It helps the stream and the channel <laughs> in general finish. for discoverability purposes. <laughs> Thank okay? you, Phil. Okay. Yeah, when you say big on YouTube, I don't necessarily want to want it to seem like I think I'm one of the biggest people on YouTube. I don't think by any means I am. I just think that I found a way to have a more dedicated fan base than a lot of the other people out there on YouTube. Okay. Um, but anyway, the answer. So he doesn't. He's not one of the biggest ones, but he's found a way to be one of the most. He has one of the most dedicated fan bases. I mean, if he's if he's in the top 100, he is one of the biggest. Like, I don't care how he feels about it. Like, the, the numbers don't lie, you know, man. It is what it is. Yeah. Eat a, eat a, eat a lunch meat sandwich. <laughs> okay. <Big> up, <laughs> okay. Whatever. Yeah. Big question about my parents. Yes, my big parents, up Spikes for the dollar. You're a legend. Know what I do on YouTube? Yes. Yo, big up Spikes. Uh, at least my father does watch some of my videos on the King of Hate HD channel. Uh, he's not interested in video games that much. He doesn't watch any of the video games oh. or anything like that. But even he's fascinated you know go looking on on youtube and seeing all the videos that are that i put out that other people have put out in response to my stuff and he's just like blown away that i was able oh wow daddy's proud of him at this point yo i think this is the first time i've ever actually heard him acknowledge that his parents watch his videos and yeah. acknowledge that he exists on the internet to be fair so big ups that yeah it's like the first time i've heard him not like talk about them in kind of a negative way almost like there's always a negative twang to this you know there's always a twist that's negative about him but it's not right now not interested in video games that much he doesn't watch any mm -hmm. of the video game playthroughs or anything like that didn't mm -hmm. give a shit about the video games though yeah that's it's true kind of negative on, on YouTube and not too toxic that, are, that i put out that other people have put out in response to my stuff wait he, i didn't miss any question yet have we heard any question yet or have we? I think we heard um, one, right? Uh, his, yeah, his parents, uh, how, okay. do they know he's big on the internet? That's what All we're right. doing. I still want to miss the counter. Okay. Just like blown away. 
that I was able to turn playing video games and recording that and doing that kind of comedy into basically a full-time job, which is mm-hmm. what it is right now. So, yeah, he, the, but my parents know. They're happy. They're just a little nervous because obviously, as everyone said and as I know, this is not something that is, like, steady. I'm not on a salary. You know what I mean? Um, wow. So imagine 15 <laughs> years ago they already knew, you know, like, all right, this is not something you can do forever, Philip. Like, it's cool now, but – it's not gonna work forever. <laughs> How wrong they would yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this isn't exactly, you know, like he said, a salary job or something. This doesn't come with benefits in a four hundred one k. I have to pay for my own health insurance, which I am paying for right now, and it's insanely expensive. Insanely, dude. Your own health insurance when just talked about that today. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's nerve wracking to say the least because what. Well, it's it's a it's a medium where tomorrow YouTube could go out of business or tomorrow YouTube could ban my <laughs> it's channel. It's the medium for here. Okay. Reason, and it's in their rules that they're able to do that. And uh, you know, it's in the rules. Sure. Damn, then I have in no the rules, income, dude. you know. So it's like, is it worth it to do this for a while? I think it is. I think this is interesting. This is a good, interesting part of my life where I can try to do something completely different. It's a good, interesting part of my life. Okay. From the norm and from what a lot of buzzwords. Mm-hmm. See if I can make it work. But yeah, my parents are happy for me, but they're also a little nervous. But they're 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 they want to see me succeed. So you know, they're 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 very happy that at least I had something to fall back on when I got laid off. Okay. Months. So imagine you know, at the end of September. It's a very nothing, nothing answer. I no yeah. Job, no up, it's no, not really no, saying no anything. Hobby, nothing to do. I would have been. Who knows? I mean, like your parents are gonna be nervous when you go into anything yes, like this. Like, yeah, they yeah, want yeah. you to do well, but at the same time, they're not sure. Like, yeah, uh-huh. that kind of goes without saying, dog. Yeah, yeah. It's like, all right. What I'm doing. That at least there's some success there, and that. You know, at okay. least for the short term now, I'm able to do this and support myself rather than worry about, uh-oh, what am I going to do with the condo and all that if I can't afford it? So. <laughs> they, that, that's, a, that's a bridge we would cross in the future. <laughs> and by the way, oh, he gets fired at the end of the month here. Oh, so he's not even – oh, he. so wait. He's already said he's lost though now, right? So he's well, already I fired from Rashid at this about, point, right? With the condo and all that. Yeah, because he's – I he's believe already, so. Yeah, he mentioned he had the fallback here. So he's already in the fallback. I snort. Yeah, I well, gotta get that in. Okay, the next question is from Fozy from the, the website. And she says, Dear DSP... So oh, Fozy. Now... Again, shout outs to Foz. That is the female style moderator of his website, uh, Foz. Another female style. I didn't style. even know that. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, I've, I've showed the, I haven't played the video, but she was on a, there was a, believe it or not, guys, there was a King of Hate uh, forums podcast way back in the day, and she was a guest on there. Uh, I, I've debated going into it, but it's really boring and not that cool. Uh, but I will show her just for context here. Uh, she is right here. And eh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get it. Very, very boring and not that interesting is like most of DSP's content, though. So it's not exactly out of the realm. Yeah, yeah. If it's uh, instant, if it's quiet, I'll turn it up. That this is foes right here. Um, she did a podcast with the, t- the I wasn't lying. Let me scroll down for you. The King of Hate forums YouTube, and it had sixty subscribers, and they would literally just talk about it, <laughs> talk about like being mods for DSP. It's 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 just not cool, guys. It's not fun. It's not interesting. It's not fun. <laughs> but I mean, we can if watch. You did it, it? I would watch it though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe that'll be for next summer. We got time to fill. But all right, uh, let's go. What do you do when you see an endangered animal that is eating an endangered plant? <laughs> <laughs> great question you know what awesome. I, I was just wondering this myself <laughs> wonder it is what do you do when you see an endangered animal that is eating an endangered plant come on foes i thought you were he's cool, got Fos. the answer here he's got <laughs> thought, the answer he's I the guy Fos to ask was cool though this is kind of a dented question foes that's a simple answer because as everyone knows you have a bunch of bee in the butt the most delicious of all so- oh god what was that well, that's a simple answer because, as everyone knows, endangered things are the most delicious of all. So I would just immediately oh, go oh, off and uh, oh, bon appetit. There's a lot of ways to go with that question, but he went the stupidest. What? What was the answer? I didn't. Uh, of what? all, so I would just immediately eat them both. Oh, know? eat them both. Oh, Managed to not be as funny as possible. Awesome. No, no very and, human. Uh, very, very human. Bon appetit. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Next question uh, comes from. Holy crap! This is a long one. All right. I'm gonna try to Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate. He loves that. when they're. He loves when they're extra long. Uh huh. Big up Scarface says off topic. Chu is so effortlessly funny. She doesn't understand how funny and charming she is. Chu, please go on to Tractor Beam. All right, I'll tell her. 
She's in the room. Chu, could you hear that? Chu, someone said a, 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 some support your way, okay, Chu? You listening? <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they basically gave, gave some money to you and said this. Chu is so effortlessly funny, she doesn't understand how funny and charming she is. Chu, please go on to Tractor Beam Show. That's uh, Indrid's show. She's laughing in, in happiness, but no answer on the tractor beam yet. We'll wait for that. Consolidated. I know what you say. All right, let's move on. Chew on the tractor beam before me. That's what's uh, up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She'll be taking over this show soon. Everyone loves her way more than me. I mean, that's just how it goes. <laughs> Let me consolidate what he's saying. Basically, he says... Oh, here, there was a question. Uh, I, I, have you seen I, that I little Big Planet out, 2 but... is coming out and all the improvements that they've we'll made to the game? Okay. Because, um, yep. Do you think that you may do co-op with Rambo and Howard? And the answer is, yeah, I might. It depends. We'll have to see if oh, it's two-player on-screen Howard. co-op. John or someone, you know, someone might want to come and play it with me. Um, but now, he basically wants to bring up some of the points that I said about Little Big Planet 1 a long time ago. This is two years ago, and he says... Um, oh, okay, Frog Machine with a little bit of lore here. So he says in the video he was laid off two months ago. He leaves the course on 30th of September, and this video is, is in December. I think, uh, was his timeline just that much fuck, Frog Machine? I mean, you know how he goes with his timelines. It's all fluid. Yeah, so he, we'll see. he never has the details <laughs> down. He yeah. just says whatever, whenever. Uh-huh. Who cares? You were wrong when you said no one wants to create their own levels, which is a comment I, I did make about Little Big Planet 1. He says, in the end of the year... Wow, so look at that. He already said people didn't want to make their own levels. Like, that's a mini take on Tears of the Kingdom, yo. Oh, yeah, people can make cool robots and stuff. Who's doing that? Everybody, everybody everybody is doing that. (laughs) Everyone has fun doing that at least once. Like, Like some people make insane shit, I know. And I'm not doing that myself either. People make fucking mechs. But everyone's making a little bit and having fun with it, you know? But Phil has this case of no one wants to make shit in there. Who's doing that? He had that in 2010, you know? Crazy. Wait, he always does that. He's always like, well, I don't, I'm not interested in it, so who else is? Mm-hmm. Like, other people, you idiot. It's not that complicated. <laughs> yeah. Which is a comment I, I did make about Little Big Planet 1. He says, in the end of the year gaming schedule of it, well, do you realize that there is now over 3 million levels created on the Little Big Planet yeah. community? He gives a link. Not only are there 3 million user created. He gives a link. <laughs> he gives a link. Who cares? Who cares about this shit, man? He gives a I'm link. I'm trying to click on that link. <laughs> yeah. He gives a link, but who gives a fuck, right? Big planet community, and he gives a link. I'm surprised he didn't not read it off like he does game codes. Levels, the game also <laughs> yeah. sold over 3 million copies. So when you said not many people bought the game, that was also false. I have to say the only thing that was true is that you said about Little Big Planet is that the, it didn't sell as well as people originally thought it would, but the uh-huh. game still ended up doing well. All right. So right, let's right. address this issue. First of all, we gotta address this well, issue. Said, oh, <laughs> Not the a big second. Planet one was that it was the most overhyped. Put the paper game down. Uh-huh. I still stand by that statement. Now, why am I saying that? Well, if you go back and you look at the gaming media for 2008, okay, uh-huh. all they did that you're very similar to ODST in 2009. All they oh, did hey, ODST that rocked. Was shoved <laughs> little big planet down your throat, saying. It's the most revolutionary uh-huh. game of the year. It's the best game of the year. It's got the most content. It's the most highly valued game. It's going to change the way that we play. <laughs> highly it's gonna value. Value. It's, it's, gonna, it's the most highly valued game, dude. It's going to go up in value. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay. Sell your house. Buy Little Big Planet. Uh-huh. It's going to go up in value. I'm telling you, it's an investment. All he's saying here, by the way, is why his opinion is not whatever he fucking said it was. I can't even remember what he said anymore, but there was an opinion he had. And this commenter is like clapping back at it, at least, you know, questioning it. And now he's going to get the dressing down from the king here because you don't question his uh, opinions. That's what we're getting here. So Is I'm this berating sure, the questioner? Not yet, but I'm sure we're going to get there. Highly valued game. It's going to change the way that we play games. It's going to revolutionize everything, right? Uh, <laughs> and then when most people got the game, first of all, not a lot of people bought the game. And the reason that not a lot of people initially bought the game was because the game looked way too kitty, okay? It had a sack boy. It was a stuffed animal <laughs> running around boy. jumping doing platforming. Big up and it was boy. nothing to appeal to the hardcore gamer. It was more looked like a, pl- a basic platformer, okay? Uh, disagree. The people that did get it, their main comment was, well, this is a good... I mean, the game had a campaign. And I said, well, the campaign is pretty good, but there's not enough content here for $60. And... Really what it seemed like Media Molecule, who was the developer of the game, was relying on was that... 
This is what everyone thought, by the way. The gaming community was going to use their I looked it up. Little Big tools. Planet 3 sold 3 million copies before Little Big Planet 2 came out. Like, I don't know if that's a lot, but just to put it in perspective, he's saying, like, oh, it didn't sell, you know, a whole lot of copies. 3 million sounds like a lot to me. I, I don't yeah. know. I mean, I, I don't remember either. I remember Sackboy, that being the Little Big Planet was like the talk of the gaming world for a long fucking time. But I think like I enjoyed I, it when I played yeah, it. Yeah, I thought it was like it came out to be like it wasn't like this as big as maybe like culture changing thing, but it was you know successful enough enough to make a part two. I mean, it wasn't like then that's all it really takes. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like a failure at all. But to create user created content and that for it would. Therefore, it would create replayability in the game and further content in the game that would make your $60 purchase more worth it. Now, let me ask you a question. Uh-oh. When you spend uh, $60... Should I take a question off the count because he's minus one? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. We gain a question back. You have to wait two years to actually get the value out of your money. Because I don't know about you, but when I buy Call of Duty, I expect Call of Duty to work on the day that I bought it. Which means I'm going to be able to play the mm -hmm. campaign, I'm going to have outstanding online play, I'm going to have additional game modes, and there's going to be enough content to warrant my $60. Uh -huh. that didn't I wonder if it feels like that today. I spent $70 at all. now. Why'd you help buy $100 for, for skins without even questioning it? Oh and my god, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> yeah, not, not, like, he, he uses how many characters? Four maximum? He uses four characters. Yep, yeah, you four, get the yeah. whole set, you know? You don't need oh, to get the I, whole set. I didn't even see that live, but when I seen that on, on Twitter, I was like, oh my God, this guy, you do. <laughs> yeah, like that's why like it costs, people, it's like, you know, for the headline, they'll say, if you buy all the uh, the uh, custom art, whatever, uh, cosmetics, it's $200. But like Capcom is saying like most people aren't going to, not most, but a lot of people aren't going to do that because they have one character they play and they'll buy that one. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, yeah. You nobody like, thinks play, it's a deal. Yeah, you play with jury, you get jury shit, and then you, that's it. You know, you don't have to buy every character's clothes when you don't have to play with them but you know of course phil has to buy everything a guy with long hair saying he did he didn't he did right I, I, i'm almost sure of it sucks because that's what i read have enough yeah. content now now sure in 10 months when people who for whatever reason kept playing the game non-stop and fell <laughs> in love with reason. the level editor started really making original <laughs> game levels then the game was worth it but the bottom line is when the game hey. first came out Anything that was really interesting. A guy example, with long hair. The sources I made it the fuck level. up. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. It was I saw it on Twitter. I yeah, saw it on. I Twitter. saw it on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, oh, he just spent like thirty hours on skins. There we go. Not banned. Just, oh, because that's so much better. Obviously. Nugget of truth. Nugget, nugget of truth. Sharing on WPIG. Sorry about that. Said, what he oh, says. Oh, yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. wrong. I'm wrong. Real brothers. Well, what did you expect? You have to create a level game. Of course, people are going to try to make their levels from their favorite games. Why not have a Zelda level? Why not have levels that look like other stuff? And they were banning it from the server, saying it's not even allowed. So it was kind of Is that true? They, that seems pretty bad. They were banning Zelda-style levels on Little Big Planet. That seems like unbelievable almost. I, I've never heard of that. DSP is the first person to tell me this. Uh, I don't know that to be true, but I don't really believe anything the guy says. So <laughs> That can't be true. Yeah, like, why would they would want that? At least you're playing their and game. They don't give a shit what it looks like. Why would he know that? That seems like a very strange thing for him to be aware of. <laughs> Let's see. I know they made a Mario level. Oh, so does he check that oh, in the video? So that now, now it makes sense. If Nintendo made him take it off or something, now that'd be more like it, but they're not fucking. Yeah. Now that's a little different. That's Nintendo style behavior. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like it was counterintuitive. They're saying, all right, here's the tools. To turn our game into something else, but if you make it look too much like anything else, we're banning it. And it was like, well, then what the hell did I spend sixty dollars for? <laughs> if you, you spend sixty dollars on Little yeah, Big Planet, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> if you notice, he always looks into the drink with the stein. He has to take a deep look into the stein before he drinks it. Here's the good we're example. Banning it. Watch. And it was like, well, the then what the hell did I spend sixty dollars? And he'll always look deep into it. He does. Yeah, watch for that. This is, watch for that the rest of the night, the rest of your life. Watch for this. Oh, I forever. <laughs> yeah. I'll never not see it. I wish so, I Loki. I wish I had one of those yeah. steins at this point. Oh, I'm God. too deep in the Snortex, yeah. dude. Like just for the meme, I wish I had one. My girlfriend would hate it. I have the um. I have the Mega Man mug. You know the Mega Man energy tank mug that he used I to have. I do not. I'll have yeah, to. I I'll have, have to. One. I'll Google I, it real quick. Yeah, I do have that. <laughs> at the time. Uh, yeah, I think at the time when Little Big Planet was released, it was a letdown. It was oh, I see it. Very overhyped by the gaming media. Overhyped. 
Because basically all Everything it was is. was a platformer. It was a platformer game. And to be completely honest, the controls weren't even that good. Some of the jumping was iffy. Sometimes the jumps were delayed. <laughs> Some of the jumps was bullshit. iffy. bullshit. Why are jumps delayed in a platformer? I mean, give me a break. That's like the one thing that should not be delayed. And uh, it had some problems. Yeah, but and he complains about everything I being delayed. Over yes. game of the year. I was so relieved when I beat it. I didn't have to play it again. I just didn't want to play it again. I played some of the user I'm ready to be done like, with this uh, little big planet talk. We're here 10 minutes somehow. Fine. I didn't record that footage. But yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's like, and, all right, know, that was get two, it. three weeks into release. Now, now, I'm sure two full years later, I'm sure there's amazing user-created levels. But the bottom line is, hey, the world moves the bottom on. Line, the hey. world doesn't Second sit one. and wait for this game to Go develop in. itself or for a user-created community rare to one. develop itself. So, you want to know what my real opinion about Little Big Planet 2 is? Here's yeah. my opinion. We've been waiting for that, please. I'm, I'm probably going to beat it or do a co-op playthrough with Rambo, and I'm going to say this game sucks. Because Hell I'm yeah! <laughs> as long as your mind's not made up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play it and think it's shit. There you go. I'll tell you up front, dog. Yeah. It is what it is. Just say it straight up. You know. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna play. It. I'm gonna hate it. All right. So get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> You're just like Baldur's Gate Three. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna hate it. It uh -huh. is what it is. Two more years. I'm sure the users. I've even heard that already. The users are finding a way to turn the game into a first-person shooter style yeah. game, a uh -huh. third-person adventure style game. That they've given you the tools to do that. That seems pretty fun, right? That's all well and dandy. But when I give you my <laughs> well and dandy, dandy. <laughs> okay. nice. sixty dollars, I want that content now uh, because I have a life. I have other things. I want it. Oh now. my God! <laughs> What's the song from He's... Willy Wonka? I think she says something similar to that. But yeah, I want it now. Typical uh, DSP behavior. Go ahead, though. He's always, he, he's always going on about, oh, it's $60. Like, bro, you have more money than most people. Like, period. Mm -hmm. uh, like, even though he's just starting YouTube or whatever, like, the $60 is not to you what it is to other people, and you're the one complaining. Uh -huh. I don't... Pick up, mm. Smoky Mountain. You're a legend. Dropping the massive member bomb. You're a legend, dude. Thank member you. bomb. What up, <laughs> God? House. Smoky Mountain. Hell Smoking yeah. Smoking Mountain. You are smoking tonight, yes. my friend. You are. Things to do. There's other games coming Good luck out. on your pool. things that are going to take priority. I can't sit and wait. Medium Pre decorator. Not bad. We don't know who that is still. Actually, we do. It's Cat. But it looks kind of like someone. What's your take on the tree decorator, Atlas? We've never asked you about this specifically. I didn't know this was a question. It looked like Ket to me. I watched Panda Lee dec decorate the tree today, so... Oh, right. uh -huh. That's always fun. <laughs> that, that's, what's, what, that's what was up. <laughs> you know what's amazing about those is they get watched every year, you know, like Christmas time. You gotta watch it. But they're, they're, they're oh, always yeah. something you learn, like, what? He said that? You know? It's amazing. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't believe how much he ignored her through his Christmas streams that he did. Uh -huh. We were popping off for that today. <laughs> it was crazy. She might as well just be saying whatever she wants, because he's just like uh-huh and then anyways i went to this stream and then you know then i went to machinima and she just keeps trying to talk but he's like yeah and anyways then i tried to do this you feel bad for her you know it's like exactly oh at some point she was talking from the hallway and it was absurd i couldn't <laughs> believe that you just end up feeling bad for her, you know develop so, itself on. that's the problem with this Shout out all my model, panda sims this type yeah. of game this user created type of game it doesn't work. Can we be done with this question? The, the present <laughs> I term, hope so. The present <laughs> I really do. In the long run, sure. In oh, two fuck. years, yeah, you'll get $60 worth of content. But for the, the person who doesn't have hours upon hours to dedicate themselves to develop a level, oh for the person God. who doesn't oh. buy a game and have it sit on a shelf for a year and a half before there's worthy content to even play, uh -huh. the game's a failure. <laughs> and <laughs> that's really why they... Yeah. I, the gaming media... Oh, God. The, the failure, idea. dude. Yeah, the, the, oh, the gaming media! Game. But they didn't understand that it doesn't fit the model of the common gamer. Okay. And that's why mm -hmm. the game common gamer. as well as they like thought the guy. And that's why, even today, sure, it's... God, this is when I, I want to get a, the Adam kind of... A, a button I can push that's Adam, where Adam, you know, like in the interview, he's like, anyways, anyways, okay, anyways. Because he did that so many mm. times during the interview. Like, we need it right now. Like, all right, all right. It yep, was needed then, it. and it's needed now, for <laughs> sure, <laughs> for sure. We're done with this question, dude. Three million <laughs> units? Do you really think Little Big Planet 2 is oh going to sell God. 3 million units when it comes out? Just because it was a long question not. doesn't mean People it needs a long answer. Now. They know. Oh, listen, I think he just mentioned it. He said, do you think Little Big Planet is going to sell 3 million units? That's interesting. That's the number you exact said it sold. It's an interesting it's number. 
Even today, <laughs> sure, it sold 3 million units. Oh. Do you really think Little Big Planet 2 is going to sell 3 million units when it comes out? Absolutely not. All right, someone please search it, Atlas. You're on the case. Yo, GameZone.com said Little Big Planet has sold 3 million units since release as of May 4th. 2012. How about at, at Little Big Planet 2? He just he, that's what that was claiming. Little oh, Big Planet okay, 2. Okay, that's what he's claiming. Three. All right, yeah, all right, all check right. Check it, check it, check it. We need to know this. Please sell 3 million Little Big Planet 2. I think that was a failure though. So <laughs> if, I, if memory serves correctly. Look. Uh We'll get to the bottom of this. We need to know. Hey, well. Uh More uh this is an what the hell is answers.com? Oh, I'm God, the least answers. research capable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm looking. I'm the bookkeeper, not the bookmaker. God yeah, damn yeah. it. It's uh... <laughs> okay. So the first couple of weeks, I don't think you care about the first couple of weeks. All right. I'm on with Okay. David, David in the house. 3.43 million. Get fucked. David. Let's go, David. <laughs> I love to see it, brother. Thank you. Nice, David. Units? Shit you know, on the guy. Who's going to sell 3 million units when it comes out? Absolutely, Absolutely not. Yes. Not. People know the model now. They know, okay, if I buy it now, I'm going to have to sit here and wait 10 months to get a, a worthy user-created level that I'm going to like. But they're I'll still going to buy it, though, year, dog. Yeah. The year when it's half price. Uh -huh. And that's exactly what's going to happen, uh -huh. so... Okay. That's even my recommendation to everyone. What's right. the point of rushing out and buying Little Big Planet 2? Wait for the Game of the Year edition, which will come out in a year, and then you'll have. That's. Right. I think that's standard practice on PC, though. Yeah. So. Yeah. So anyway. I never buy games at full price at this point. No. I don't think it works. Um, oh god. And in my still opinion, like here. I said two, two years ago, I think it's lazy game development, is what it is. This whole video is gonna be Little money, Big Planet. I, dude, I think it is. By the way, it's only eight minutes. Awful. Left. There is no way. Okay, this lazy game development, creating a system where users can create levels and other players can play those levels. You know that. Oh yeah, that's lazy game development. Okay. Uh huh. That's lazy game development, but Mario did it literally years later, right? And uh -huh. it's like, I'm not saying it's not a complex system because they did all of the games at the same time, you know? Yeah, but like, yeah. still, some of those games could have done, could have been done like that years before, given, you know, that they were, uh, you know, how they looked, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. could have just... been done years before and they weren't doing it, but Little uh -huh. Big Planet did it. Yeah, I'm trying to, like, it, there's a guy with long hair says it even better. Like, you could say that for any game, basically. A Minecraft is lazy game development. The entire world is, you know, the entire game is building your own world, dude. Like, what? That's just... Yeah, they didn't even yeah. bother building the world, dude. Come on. Yeah, that's what he's saying here. Right? <laughs> oh, Tears of the Kingdom makes you make your own cars. I mean, come on. That's lazy. Come Super on. lame. Expect that the content's going to be there. Here's what Media Molecule should really do. And this, uh -oh. I know, is... Oh, yeah. Because some, oh. some people don't want this to happen. But uh -oh. why not charge $30 for the game when it's new? And then say, if you want to continue to play the game and use the user-created levels, it's five dollars a month. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Business side, dude. Too. I'm I'm the biggest hater of subscription models, and this is this is right there. Like, you why would you want yeah, that? You understand how pissed he would be if they did this? He would be bitching oh so my... hard. Five dollars a he month. He would be dude. floored, dude. <laughs> they want you to pay five dollars a month. What the fuck? I Talk could about... hear the rant now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Because then I could spend thirty dollars, beat the campaign, wait a year, and then for three months spend fifteen more dollars and play all the awesome user created levels and That's say, Okay, I got my forty five dollars <laughs> worth out of this. Game. Yeah, I, I hate this question. <laughs> uh I'm, Fosey, so the I'm done with you. This no. is the first time I heard you. Last time I think I want to hear it from hey. you. I'm done with it. Wait, hold on. I will not allow the foe's shade. She was the one that asked the endangered species or plant. That was her question. Oh, that was her yeah, question. Yes, oh, yes, I'm yes, all messed please. up now. All but, right, I'm throwing undue shade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two years and not getting my be, my be. value out of it right away. Her question was That's very bad, though. That's they should be using, but everyone's afraid that if they do that, now you're going to have subscription-based games like Call of Duty might say, oh, you paid $60 up front, oh, plus pay, play $5 a month to play it online, and people are afraid of that happening, uh -huh. and so therefore, we're like, okay, oh, we're going to shy away from that model for now. So it's a, it's a double-edged hmm. sword. It's a slippery slope, but I don't think... <laughs> Oh God! He's going farming in the ear. It's funny because he is talking. Yo, about was he? I looked away for two seconds. What? He's farming in the <laughs> ear. <laughs> it's funny that he mentions this like pay for online service model because that would become the norm. He, he what? Well, he his model is way worse. He's saying you pay five dollars for a single game. By the way, 
But yeah, that's the, miserable. The model he's speaking of here does happen, you know, because you do like Nintendo Online shit. You do have to pay for the year to get to online Xbox Live, all this shit. You get a lot more stuff, but you know. But anyway, yeah, my mom was pissed when PlayStation Plus went from free to uh, paid for. She was <laughs> so so upset when I was yeah. playing games. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so get ready for the farm. That happening, and so therefore we're like, okay, oh, we're gonna shy away from that model for now. So it's a it's a double pick. Here's the pick. We're going deep in here. Double edged sword. It's a slippery slope. Well, and look at our oh look my at the god, he looks fruits of our labor, boys. <laughs> fruits of our labor. What do we got? Okay. Oh, <laughs> nice. Hey, that's a day's work right there. <laughs> Holy that's shit! A, yo, he is gazing in awe of this. The the mass. He must have got something this. good, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do real time. This is incredible. Look how long that was. Holy fuck! All right, here we go. Here's the dig. But I don't think. Present state, what it is. I don't oh know. my that god, was, that was long in real time, too. That's just my opinion. Oh. As a hardcore gamer, this is my okay. opinion. Oh, okay. so the next question is next from question. Big Star 17. Finally, and he says, DSP, I watched your Red Dead Redemption playthrough, and it was amazing. Right, I have a question regarding uh, game developers Rockstar. Okay, on your top 10 worst gaming moments of 2009, you did say that the Grand Theft Auto DLC, the Lost in the Damn videos, were flagged by the company. Uh -huh. At that point, you did say that you wouldn't buy any more of their games. Okay. But after playing Red Dead Redemption, uh. not much swagging problems. Has your opinion about Rockstar changed or not? I mean, no offense. I just want to know your opinion. Blah 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 blah. All right. Here's. Well, we couldn't even read the damn Last question. <laughs> blah 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 blah. <laughs> you know, nonsense. Anyways. <laughs> when I asked Jesus. Last, okay, it wasn't by Rockstar. It was by Take Two Interactive. At least that's what it said. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think that's what it that said. Is some, <laughs> again, some take two interactive behavior for sure. They love money. I went through this year with the false copyright flags from oh supposedly Ubisoft when it wasn't really them. We're going quotes crazy here. Um, some other companies who I got false claims from, and I got those cleared up. What I found is that really 99% of the time, the claims that you see on YouTube have nothing to do with the real companies. It's a bunch of trolls. Who somehow uh -huh. find a way to falsify information? Okay. Turn it to you. <laughs> but eat, a, eat, a, eat a lunch meat sandwich. Okay. I mean, it, it's it, if they're flagged by the company, you can't so call them false. You can call them like they shouldn't be doing that because it's not actually. It is actually transformative material, or whatever. But you can't say it's false when literally the company is doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like they're choosing to say this is against our uh, what we think is right, so we're gonna. We're gonna flag you, you know. That's not a false flag, you know what I'm saying? As as someone who wasn't making YouTube videos back then, because I don't think legally right. I was even allowed to. But uh, <laughs> as someone who wasn't making YouTube videos, I'm just like I I don't know too much about what he's talking about here. But I did not hear other content creators that I was watching at the time talk about these kind of things. He's the only guy that does this. It was he's the only guy that puts yeah. it out there. Yeah, yeah. He he's the only one that talks about it because it was a little bit more Wild West style stuff back then. But it wasn't. No one else is bringing it up like. People did weird shit to get around it, for sure. Because, like, I don't know if you heard of the guy with the glasses before. Uh, so he would have a different channel for every video because some movies would movies that would uh, claim his videos. So if his video channel ever got shut down, well, that's just a single channel that gets shut down. So it was definitely weird times. This was definitely weird times uh, back then. Yeah, yeah, DSP definitely, yeah, he stole that idea. I didn't know he got it from uh, that guy with the glasses, yeah. but I remember hearing that he did that. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption, DSP Red Dead Redemption channel. Like, he, that was he was doing to dodge these uh, flags. I don't know if it was trolls doing it or was it legitimate companies. It sounds like it's legitimate companies, but who knows. Big ups to Porsche Rump, by the way. YouTube, and because YouTube's so bloated. Real legend. And so too big for their own britches, and because they uh -huh. have no customer support department, they just take it. The, the only person I've heard say too big for their britches is my grandfather. Like, <laughs> come on, yeah, man. Britches? <laughs> Who says britches? <laughs> Legit claim. They give you a copyright strike because they're afraid of getting sued. So, in my opinion, now being more educated, a year older and a year wiser. Oh my God! A year One older year older. And a year wiser. <laughs> <laughs> 28 years old. I really don't believe hey, it's that there's a little with me, man. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Any no, me too. Thing to do with take two. <laughs> In fact, I disputed it early this year and it got cleared up. Um, there was actually a copyright strike put against my Red Dead Redemption playthrough, uh -oh. and I did put a dispute against it and it got cleared up. So I really Hell yeah. don't think it's them, uh, Take Two or Rockstar. Yes, it is because that's another thing. Companies don't want to deal with that shit. Like proving it is hard. So like a lot of companies will just go through the first one, 
and that's it. They won't go to the next step, you know, because yeah, once you like want to prove it, then you're going to the next level. And even big, you know, big companies don't want to do that for the thousand fucking people. They say, all right, fuck it. But he's talking like now because they didn't follow it up, that means it's not really them. That's just stupid. Anyway, I, I had that exact experience with my yeah. one copyright claim ever on a stream that the company didn't just didn't want to go through with a hey, proving it that it, it was the song. It wasn't. But, you know, that yeah. was my experience. Like I said, I wasn't around back then. But that's yeah. my experience now. Yeah, it's it, but it, his he's taking it to the stupid logic where that means it's not the real company. That's just dumb. I think it's just yeah, it doesn't make sense. Having their way and YouTube basically being so fucking stupid uh -huh, so that stupid. they just accept these and rather than doing the due diligence and research, they give you a false copyright strike, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's bad business. It's lazy business, uh -huh. yep. and it proves that they've grown too big for their own good. But it's just the way that the business uh, it works right now because they're, okay. they're the number okay. one video sharing website in the world all right so, thank you for re-upping your membership um, i appreciate that if i think that there's a rockstar game worth playing like red dead redemption i'm gonna play it that doesn't mean i'm gonna play <laughs> every game from them but if there's a worthy game there's no reason for me not to play it. a rockstar fact, game worth playing like uh, all of them all of them the best game of <laughs> and just think if i didn't play it and might be the game that i think or or at least is one of the best games of 2010 I would have never played it, and how would that be fair to, to, to give a game rankings what? where the, some of the best games weren't played simply because you were afraid I'm you done with this question, copyright. too. This is the worst questions back-to-back -back I've ever heard. This sucks, too. Maybe maybe it was a blessing that episode four was lost. I don't uh, know, man. This one really sucks. <laughs> so, the bottom line is, I'm not really afraid anymore. I'm going to play whatever I want to play, and if I need to make a separate channel like I did with this game, then I yep. will. But uh, I, I'm really not afraid of getting copyright strikes anymore. So if I get one, I'm just going to dispute it. Yeah. Chances are it'll get cleared up like it did with those. So yeah, that's Hell all you yeah. can do. Right. Hell yeah! Big ups to Baby Man Gaming for re upping your membership. Legend. So. Hell yeah, Baby Man Gaming. Big ups. Let's see here. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. Hang on. Let's do this one first. This is a quick one from Katana Kitten. The question is: Katana, if Katana you have sex Kitten. with a zombie, is that considered necrophilia? Oh my uh, god, these no, questions, oh, dude! No. <laughs> these questions, dude! Hey, LT, you, you brought me on for an zombie. episode, man. <laughs> <laughs> these questions. <laughs> Why is this person nine years old? A pro There's a non-zero chance they're less than ten years old. Considered necrophilia. Uh -huh. uh, actually, no. It's considered a nooner, a delicious afternoon delight, and I have no problems with it. Oh. What? Okay, all right. Have Not the answer I expected. <laughs> you heard neuter before? Neuter. Never in my life. This is new right. vocab. Let's I'm actively neuter. Googling. Neuter meaning. Uh, an event. Oh, yes. Instance of. Uh, wow, that is, it is It is a word. It does. No shit. An event that occurs in the middle of the day, especially an act or instance of having sex. Nooner. Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Nooner. I didn't even know that had a word. That's what's up. That's, I mean, did he learn that from grandma too? That's where he learns all his other vocabulary, like britches. Britches, stuff. nooner, <laughs> hell yeah. Let's get a nooner in. This question is about on live, the new console that everyone has been hearing about that's oh, supposedly going to be released this he month. He did play that. I haven't really seen it anywhere yet. Um, now, if you don't know too much about online, yeah, what, yeah, is, what is it? a different business model than existing consoles. Oh. What it's mm. going to do is allow you to basically get games on demand. Meaning oh. you can either rent a on game demand. for a certain amount of days, or you can decide to purchase the game, but you don't physically get the game. The game gets automatically streamed to your console. Holy shit. And you get to play it. So it's basically like an on demand like cloud. your cable company <laughs> right now, or through, say... You know Netflix or one of these other companies that are going through Xbox or PS3 or okay. the Wii right now. Oh, this is a question. And so it's it is it's a totally different Six business model. Tonight, it's somehow on demand content. And That's I guess crazy. The question everyone would ask me is number one, what do I think? And number two, will I try it? Yeah. Number one, what do I think? I honestly think uh, that if this works, and meaning if you can actually get the games in a reasonable amount of time, I think this business model will take over the current business model. Oh. I really do. Because take a look now. Even though, yeah, yeah, people are still buying. DVDs, Weird positive outlook from the guy. Uh huh. So he's kind of. This is what. Um. What's the fucking shit he uses? The game ba game pass. The on demand. Game pass. Yeah, man. Yeah. Game pass is the is the realization of that. Mr. Video is going out of business because everything now is on demand. You can get everything you want instantly over the internet or over your cable company's cable box. You don't need okay. to go physically get the movie anymore. So it's going to be the same thing with games. It's going to be if you can. If on release day I can get the game instantly, why would I drive to GameStop? Yeah. Cool. I don't care if I physically have the. Well, this is why we went works. digital, folks. It works uh -huh. when I need it to work. I don't care. So 
The bottom line is, I hey. think it's really interesting technology. I'm hey. interested to see if it works. Now, some people said, are you going to get it? Well, the answer is, I'm not really keen on buying a console <laughs> like right now, especially since... I really think it's the future. It's going to take over gaming. The second question, will I try it? Probably not. Why? No, probably, no, I'm not interested. Um... <laughs> he talked about how good it was. Why wouldn't you? Um, really, the games for it are games that are available already. Yeah, I think the sliced hard bread hard. is really cool. Do I think I'm going to get into it? No, probably no, no, not. No, I don't know. Not me, no. But I have but... some good news, and I'm not sure if this is a lock yet, but since I've announced my P.O. Pick, box pick, pick. Uh, being opened oh, up no. post office. No look, though. No look, a fan no look. contacted me and said, Phil, I've been, been online good. on my PC for years. Well, they've actually given me an online console as part of the launch program. I'm not too interested in the console. But I would Come love on. to have you review the console, so can I send it to you as a donation? And I said, if it's possible to do it, and if it's, first of all, if it's a domestic console, if it's able to be like, transferred to me rather than... <laughs> if it's a domestic console. <laughs> if you can train the console, that would be really cool. It's domestic, it's a domestic <laughs> console, holy shit. If it's not a wild console. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, <laughs> it's not wild. If it's a domestic, domesticated console. Send it to I can walk it around the block. Uh, I'll, I'll be willing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Do it. We'll, we'll do it live, per se. Fuck we'll it. plug it in. We'll, we'll do it live! Down. Hell we'll yeah, dude. So we'll go from there. So, could be pretty interesting to see what happens if we get our hands on a non-live console. I'll let you know if I get it uh, in the future. Um, and uh, we'll go Move from on. there. So. Yep. Well, okay. let's actually split this. I don't want to go too long on part one. I've got yes, a bunch of questions for part two. Yes. Today, so, we'll be coming back with part two of... Uh, Ask the king. Oh, I always loved that he had to get up and and manually cut the part. That's so. So look, look at his um his his look at his animation here. I guess it's very. Petty, I'm seeing but, it. Yeah, but uh, very petty. But look how far the so so obviously he's using a a pre-designed transition thing. Yeah. But it shows how big the image is because look how far it goes to the right. Like you know, it just does the effect over the whole image. Oh, is that why that's yeah. that's doing that? He didn't. Cr he didn't. He didn't um, crop it out. You he know, didn't you crop, crop it out. It. Yeah. yeah. So you see how far it goes. Like it goes like halfway across the screen for no reason. But at mm. least he has. See, I didn't some know that's editing. what's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's editing of some sort. I don't know why he doesn't edit this out it itself. Right? You can do that. No. Yeah. The whole <laughs> getup should have been gone from the jump. But yeah. <laughs> No, we'll just give you this nice uh, blinds effect for no reason over half the screen. But right, <laughs> part two, let's fucking go. Episode four, part two in the house. Let's go. Mayo, motherfucker. Oh, God. Do you have to do that every time? Oh, here we go. Mail motherfucker. Very cool. Very hip. Very hip. I'm I, Look, I'm nostalgic <laughs> for it because of Tevin. I don't actually like it, but <laughs> that's, right, what's, what's, that's what's up. <laughs> I love when he goes on. Watch. He does this weird... <laughs> Okay, watch this. Oh, yeah, dude. That's a face and a half. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, engages the face. Watch. Engage. <laughs> Engage. Engage. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> get ready. All right, welcome back to part two of Ask the King for December 9th. Uh, get ready. Uh, we've got some more questions to dig into. So let's yeah, YouTube ahead. mode on. Uh, That's what, yeah. From yeah, yeah. 105, and T-Bone says, T -Bone. Do you think that people that say no homo after everything are secretly gay? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm glad we got this. Le legitimate question. Because he has said no homo himself many, many times on Density Scrolls. So we know he uses this term. Oh, one hundred percent. That's the real two thousands behavior yeah. so for sure. He was all over that. Let's hear what he how he handles this because he is the user of the no homo. So let's hear what he says here. If he makes fun of it, he's bullshitting. Well, this is a great question because I hear this all the time. <laughs> great question. And uh, I've actually finally figured it out. Uh oh. Uh, there, oh. Here's the thing: when people, say, I am gay. Say no homo, here's the thing. Saying, no, that's not a homosexual statement. They're actually saying no. Homo. <laughs> Are you serious? Um, dude, dude, you said that yourself multiple, <laughs> multiple times, man. Special statement. They're actually saying, no, homo. <laughs> okay, we have to clip uh, that somebody. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. If you're looking for something to clip, the, him saying homo with the thumbs up is very good. Special <laughs> statement. They're actually saying, no, homo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I'm getting that on Twitter later, unless someone beats me to it. <laughs> Please. Um, yeah, it's really weird that people do it. 
Um, I don't know why. Is I, it really weird? You've done it yourself. That's why you do it all yeah. the time? I mean, if you, for example, I make gay jokes. Sure, I do. <laughs> I make gay jokes. Ugh. Who among us doesn't? Okay, we were, we were, <laughs> gay people are hilarious. <laughs> They're gay and stuff. It's hilarious. Modern joysticks, we were talking about dick sucking and all kinds of silly <laughs> shit like that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that dick sucking thing. Gay people. So do. funny, dude. It's hilarious. <laughs> You'll never get this. Gay people, they do the dick sucking. Hilarious. <laughs> they do the <laughs> dick sucking. <laughs> it's very, very humorous, dude. Hey, we, were, we were over here modding joysticks. We were talking about dick sucking and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we were over here modding joysticks. And we're talking about the dick sucking. <laughs> I mean, how can you not? You got all these joysticks running around. A lot of testosterone going. I, <laughs> Rambo was I, there. <laughs> Phil was there. You know what's up. Yeah. How can we not? I mean. You, for example, I make gay jokes. Sure I do. Oh, by the way, that was a nice butt pick. I missed it, but he's going Oh, deep. shit. Okay, watch this hand. He goes deep. After he just <laughs> I don't... The... He's like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's just a joke. Um, it, really? yeah, it's really weird. Ready? Right hand? It. Um, I don't know why. Oh, no, that was I, a I mean, back decompression. No, no, here he goes. All right. So he first, he decompressed the back, but then he goes, the right hand goes into no man's land again. Watch this. Stay up. Keep, pay attention. I mean, if you, in, for example, in, I mean, oh. I'm sure I mean, the other day we were. The decompression <laughs> butt pick combo. I, I, I mean, here he is. You, it, for example, oh. I mean, I'm sure I did. <laughs> Got it. That mug must have been in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> dick sucking and all kinds of silly shit like that. I mean, if you're securing your masculinity, you're not going to give a shit, you know, about making a gay joke. It's just funny. And... <laughs> all right, so if you're securing your masculinity, you don't care about gay jokes or just something you do. Let me hear this again. What yeah, if you're really secure, you can yeah. suck a dick and it's cool. Who uh -huh. cares? Yeah. I'm not even, not, I'm not going to bat an eye. Yeah, yeah, it's very cool. You're not going to give a shit. You just you gotta know, be confident. Making a gay joke, it's just funny. And, mm -hmm. uh, it's funny, dude. Again, it's not offensive. <laughs> you're not trying to offend gays. It's just silly, silly fun. And, uh, if you're, you're not trying to offend gays. Mature enough to understand <laughs> then you shouldn't have to say no homo after every silly thing that you say. Um, that's just ridiculous. Okay. If to me, that's like you're actually afraid that someone you're with would mistake what you're saying oh for fact. But he's the or guy. For being serious, and if that's <laughs> like, like. No homo itself is part of the joke, right? You say something that's totally normal, like, you know, wow, you're playing great, and then you say no homo. It just adds kind of a funny... It is kind of funny. Something. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, not... Yeah. Phil has taken it to this deep, deep level where no one even thinks about it like that, but he's taken it to, like, a real, like, you know, philosophical level here and saying, like, you shouldn't have to say that. Okay. That's the case. Maybe yeah, he's not. on some intellectual type shit. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For fact or for being serious, and if that's the case, maybe you're not. Oh, Sorry. God, I'm about to erupt here with a burp. Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, maybe my God. Not. Sorry about that, everybody. Good as friends with those people. Couldn't edit it out, though. they don't know well, you as well as they should. You know, maybe you shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff around those people anyway. You know, when I joke Ooh. around with John and Howard, I know that they, they know I'm not gay. So I can say silly shit, and they're not going to care. It's funny. Okay. You know? So, yeah. Sorry, I'm confident enough that I don't have to say no homo after every silly statement I say. That's ridiculous. Bullshit. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, I'm no, you're lying. Him. Okay, he said no homo about 50 times on SRK. Um, okay. And on Alphaism Radio Live, we've heard it there, Oh, too. all the time on yeah. Alphaism. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone's saying it. I'm not saying it just Phil, but... It Everyone's fucking saying it. Now Phil's saying it. Was, like, it I don't was think the move back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Everyone said it, no homo back in the day. The next question is from Lulzy. Uh -oh. And Lulzy asks, Dear DSP, I have a Christmas-related question for you. To oh. start off, ever since I was young, I've always Optical. feared the idea mm -hmm. that Christmas wouldn't be any fun anymore after a certain point in my life. So far, <laughs> I still really... <laughs> what is this person, 10? Yo, Christmas is gonna <laughs> suck after I'm like fucking 15 or something. It's gonna be Good shit. Christmas. I hate it. The disillusionment others at my age, I'm 18, often feel during... Oh, 18. 18. This question. Okay, secure adult. The holiday season, I guess what they meant to say is where Lulzy is not feeling the disillusionment. Um, what really fascinates me, though, is that okay. you at age 30 still seem to enjoy Christmas a whole lot. I find that positively... <laughs> He's low key dissing him for liking Christmas. Okay, okay. Yo, this is going. Well, his mom loved Christmas. Uh -huh. We've seen that today. She yeah. decorated so much. Uh huh. I, I don't know where this question's going, though. Astounding and quite.
quite inspiring, to tell the truth. And I want to know what it... What? Hold on, hold on. Sorry, 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 everybody. I gotta hear this again. What really fascinates me, though, is that you, at age 30, still seem to enjoy Christmas a whole lot. I find that positively astounding when? and quite inspiring, to tell the truth. And I want to know what it feels like. How does it feel to find joy in a holiday what? a lot of people your age feel they're finished what? with? And what do you think kept you in such high spirits during the holidays after all these years? Best regards and happy holidays. Well, oh, my well, God. Wow. So he's feeling extremely positive that Phil enjoys Christmas for whatever reason still. And how does it feel to still enjoy that? Is that what we're going with? All right. That's what I'm hearing, oh, yeah. but it's I'm not convinced they watch DSP's content. If you watch any of the, like, if you watch the Christmas stuff that we watched today, he did nothing but bitch moan and complain about everything in his life the whole time. He didn't seem to have a positive spin on anything. Yeah, yeah, he he does the decorations thing, but there's no, like, joy in it, kind of, because all he does is bitch about his life after that. But, all right, let's see what he's saying here. I'm sure he's going to say, like, well, I think it's great to, uh, I don't know. He's going to have some positive shit to say. I'll let you know in two years when I hit 30. Those words galore. Uh -huh. All right, the next question is from, I, no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to skip the question. <laughs> um, oh, good question. Um, really, the bottom line is this. The hey, so bottom line. Holidays. Usually it's because they never understood what the holiday was about to begin with. Um, for me, okay. Christmas isn't a religious holiday. Christian mm -hmm. Christmas isn't a uh, commercial holiday. It's right. supposed to be a time mm. of the year when you feel positive, when you think about mm. your fellow man, when... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> say no homo. <laughs> That's hey, what you say when no you homo. Think I say, when you think about your fellow man, you better be saying no homo. That's uh, what's up. <laughs> your, your spirit should be uplifted. You know, there's people who are down and out, and, you know, the Christmas spirit can sometimes get them going. Um, okay. And for me, people, like you say, you're people that basically, they don't keep high spirits. People that feel like, oh, it's, they're no what? longer a part of the holiday. I'm finished with that holiday. It means you never understood. I'm finished? You thought that it was about buying presents and getting uh. stuff for Christmas, or you thought it was about some religion that you associated with the holiday and yes we all know it's associated with the christian religion but the bottom line is for hey. most people it's really not about that anymore um it's about just a feeling a feeling of positivity and happiness okay. and, and caring about your fellow person you don't have to be a christian to celebrate break christmas or at least <laughs> celebrate be a part of the christmas season and uh, uh this is it really it, it okay. really is a shame that there's people that turn it into such a freaking extremist religious thing that no you must celebrate christ at christmas and all that oh just inventing what? people just inventing people up okay get the fuck yeah. out of here really you know yeah. it's one thing to, to and everyone has a right to celebrate their own religion really honestly but uh -huh. it's not your place to shove it down anyone else's throat everyone can have except for those six million other people and, don't mind them people yeah, 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 yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of america is that everyone's supposed to have their own ability to believe in what they believe and celebrate whatever religion they want whether they have religious beliefs or not and for okay. someone to, tr to, to shove it down your throat is unacceptable so you know if the country is going to name christmas a national holiday which it has then everyone <laughs> should have the ability to celebrate <laughs> Was this some new new development? <laughs> yeah, 2010 was when they announced Christmas <laughs> National Holiday. Y'all get yeah. the day off. I don't know what he's going on now. I have I think he does not understand the question. I, so, but whatever. I think that's some of the problem. People get disillusioned with the holidays because they think, oh, it's just a religious thing, and I'm not religious anymore, or I've never was religious, so why should I be involved? Or oh, this is about for people who have money. That, uh, Invisible mute. This was his audio back then. You know, we're dealing with him with the camera back there. There's no kind of mic situation. This is what his audio was. And buy hundreds of dollars of presents every year for their friends and family. I don't have friends and family who have money, or I don't have money, so it's not my holiday. Well, it's not. It's Back not yet. what it's about. I mean, you don't even need to have a Christmas tree to celebrate Christmas. You oh, can just. You yeah, know, but he had three plus Christmas and, trees. And uh -huh. needs help, help him out, and uh, and wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Like and not just, every. Be... Why is every question like a t like he takes like an attack? You know, it's like. It was kind of a, just a simple question about why do you still care about Christmas so much? He's turning it into so many people out there are trying to make us, you know, like trying to be a politician answer to everything. Just let it go. Yeah. You know? I, I noticed when he does the ask the Kings and he gets these long winded, you know, uh, preemptive answers to these questions. He tries to take some sort of moral high road where if you ask yeah. him a question live, he doesn't do that because he doesn't have the time to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. Smallest thing, the smallest positive. So, no, so Richard Roberts, we're well, we're well before asking for donations directly. I mean, he's sideways asked for shit 
in this time, but they were well before asking for money from viewers directly. We're still in the begging well, you, for views. Yeah. If you want to donate an on live console to me, that that would be cool. Yeah. I would check it out then, uh -huh. maybe. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe. This thing, what kind of an impact it can have on someone's day, especially if they're having one of the worst days of their life and they just see a tiny bit of positivity, it could totally cha change things. So don't <laughs> be one of these Grinches, don't be one of these Scrooges. <laughs> You know, the holidays aren't only about... Oh, look at this name dropper. The Scrooges, the Grinches. Who else are we breaking out here? Player hater of the year. That's... <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Religion and money. It's about a feeling of, of, of positivity and warmth towards your fellow person. I think that everyone could be a part of it. Yeah. Oh, there's the look down. <laughs> oh, chew, chew, chew. Got to chew the liquid. Now that okay. I said that, let's go throw some feces at so Carol's thick. next door. Oh. Just kidding. Uh, all right. The next... <sighs> he... he, he... Now that I said that, let's go throw some feces at the carolers next door. No, I'm Very just kidding. Mm. Uh, all right, the next question is from Iron Metal. Iron Metal. And he says, what are your thoughts? Well, this is, I paraphrased it, but he says, what are your thoughts on Mark Wahlberg <laughs> who chosen to play Nathan Drake in the Uncharted movie? Now, okay, well, okay, hold on. Let's try to guess this. So Mark Wahlberg is going to be Drake in Uncharted movie. Did this Did that movie happen? Come out? Yeah, did this movie come out is the first thing, because I don't remember that. I have any memory. I don't that. either. I thought the last person, I thought the first person to play Nathan Drake was uh, uh, that kid that was Spider-Man. Yeah, so let's let's see when the Uncharted movie even came out. <laughs> Uncharted uh, didn't come out till well after this. Did they, like the movie they made of, oh, here we go. Anyways, we're... Let's see. I'm looking at the history. I don't want to get... In 2008... Okay, here we go. Here we go. So this is a little bit of history here. <laughs> so in 2010, it was announced that they were making a... a uh, Jaha, right on time uh, on the card there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mar in, on November 24, 2010, an interview with Mark Wahlberg was published by MTV with the actor discussing his involvement in the film adaptation of the popular franchise. He stated that Russell... Uh, Russell is who's Russell? David O. Russell, the co-president of Columbia Pictures, was currently writing the script and was excited for what he had in store, hoping to shoot sometime in the middle of 2011. Uh, however, uh, on, on May 26, 2011, it was reported that Russell had departed the film, and that led that ended Mark Wahlberg's involvement. So there we go. This never happened. But there we go. <laughs> Yo, but Mark Wahlberg was in that 2022 movie as a oh, co-star. So you hey. mean to tell me that this guy was involved with this movie for like a decade? Yeah, that's pretty hype. I mean, look at that. So 2010, he was going to be the main dude. That person left, but he got back in in 2011. Nice. All right, well, let's hear what Phil thinks about this, which was based on a MTV interview that Mark Wahlberg gave. Here we go. Being chosen to play Nathan Drake in the Uncharted movie. Uh-oh. Now, don't get me wrong. Not that Mark Wahlberg. 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 Marbles in my mouth. Not that Mark Wahlberg isn't a uh, is a bad actor. I think he actually is a good no, actor. He's... I think the past couple movies have been have been shit, and it's not his fault. I mean, the fucking The Happening was an awful movie. Oh. But anyway, anyways. Um, I saw I don't that know one. If you've heard of this, but actually, this Uncharted movie that was starting it was started out as it was going to be an adaptation of the game. It's going way down the shitter. They've already uh -oh. completely changed the plot. They're saying now it's going to have nothing to do with Nathan Drake or the, the other characters from the, the game. Now it's going to be Nathan Drake is part of a multinational uh, Merc group who goes out and basically <laughs> group. are hired to do like <laughs> extreme missions to, to steal like artifacts. So it's going to kind of be like you know, some kind of SWAT team that goes out there and invades countries to steal a, an urn. It's like, what the fuck is that's this? Hype. This has What's nothing that? to do with the game. So, I mean, that's not too far off from what the game is. And they're yeah. gonna, you know, here's what they should call it. They should not call it Uncharted. They should call it whatever the hell they want because, in my opinion... <laughs> well, what if they called it Uncharted, though? <laughs> no, the, the combo was, here's what they should call it. You know what they should call it? Not Uncharted. <laughs> That's the combo. Whatever the hell they want. Well, what if they wanted <laughs> yeah. to call it Uncharted? Yeah. Is that off the table? You know, here's what they should call it. They should not call it Uncharted. They should call it whatever the hell they want. Because, in my opinion, <laughs> whatever okay. the hell they want. They did with Final Fantasy. Winning the Oscar for whatever the hell they want. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Spirits Within. It's a movie that had nothing to do with Final Fantasy whatsoever. But they thought, hey. If we tag that fucking name on it, maybe some people will go out to see it. That's exactly what happened. And everyone who saw that movie said, what the fuck did I just see? 
It wasn't a bad movie, but I had no idea why there was. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, he still yes. brings this up to this day. Movie tie-ins. Change the plot. They change the characters. They change everything. What am I watching? So bad, bad, bad producers, bad developers. Get that shit out of there. Stop making. My God. Did you? Any thought on Mark Wahlberg, sir? Or he? I guess he said he was not a bad actor himself. So I guess that was the take. <laughs> um. All right, whatever. This one is from Peretta Blaze, and her question is: What's your drink of choice when you're playing a game? Well. Uh oh. Okay. So, do you think he's gonna say alcohol here, Sir Atlas? This. Oh, oh. oh I I missed the question. The I was reading the chat. <laughs> I apologize. What's your drink of choice when gaming? Will he mention alcohol oh. or will he say water to try to be the health type mm. film? I don't know if he'll mention Jim. I, I do remember when he was on Alphaism Radio, he was talking about uh, the rum oh and coke God, diet that he was on. Yes. I think it would be a shame if he didn't mention that. But remember, this is, we're in this, now he knows he's talking to the YouTube audience. So for the YouTube audience, hmm. he tries to be a different person. I think he will just say water here. That's my guess. But here we go. You're right. You're right. He's going to try to be healthy. He has a new fan base now for these YouTubers that don't know shit about his past uh, assholeness in the FGC. It depends. If I'm doing a serious playthrough of a game, Usually just, this is actually filtered water. I actually have a Brita filter, oh, and I use that. Damn. <laughs> filtered water. But he's not done. He's not done. Um, If I'm feeling, like, tired or whatever, sometimes I'll drink some Gatorade. Or if I really need a boost. Oh, yeah, the energy drink Gatorade. That'll really get you. Hope... <laughs> what? <laughs> if I'm tired, I hope I'll we drink get a jolt. <laughs> I hope we get a jolt shout out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gatorade when you're tired? Okay. I'll drink some energy drinks. And you've there seen some of the ones I've drank before. I've tried Jolt Cola. Yo, yeah! Yo, Yo, let's go! Atlas <laughs> called it and got it. Cold shot there. Drink some energy drinks. You've seen some of the ones I've drank before. I've tried Joel Cola. I've done Nas. So I actually not like that. Nah, hit the Nas. Hit the Nas. Hit the Nas, dude. FRS. Um, hit now, the Nas. If you want to know if you're talking drink? The so FRS during the omelet finish, video. Um, usually something like a, I don't, a, not a heavy beer. I'll drink like a light beer, like a Heineken light or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Blue Moon. I do like Blue Moon a lot. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Blue Moon. Shit. <laughs> My grandpa drinks Blue Moon. Fun fact. <laughs> Shout out to Blue Moon. Light beer. But, and that's more for like a cat, like playing through, and I'm doing it for fun. Like, for example, when I played Indigo Prophecy this year, I was drinking like light, lighter beer. Oh. Um, now, if you're talking like hardcore, I'm fucking. Getting wasted when I'm playing, like some what I did with some of my Fallout Three playthroughs. Hey, the drunk I'm Fallout glad he mentioned playthrough. It. Yep, he if knows. he didn't, I was going to. Yep, the drunk Fallout, Fall Gout, excuse me. Ago, or like I actually did with the end of Splatterhouse this year because I much wanted to beat the fucking game and it was such a grind. Um, I would probably take. I don't have a glass here to show you. Okay, so who um, cares? It's gonna have a glass. Yeah, let's say that. that you know, this is a typical gla uh, glass that you drink a hard, uh, hard drink in. You mix it like a Roman Coke. <laughs> We're gonna okay. explain mixing drinks here. Get ready. <laughs> you know, this is a glass. Your, your worldwide known glass symbol right here is happening. This is a glass. Okay, get ready. When I order, uh, when I order a drink, I make that at the yeah. bartender. He knows. He knows what I want. Uh -huh. That just means glass. Bring me the glass. All right, here we go. Bring me the glass, dog. Well, I don't even know what we're getting here. He's gonna say he puts like what? Okay. This is where I think we're going with this. He's going to say, I put like this much alcohol in it, so it's not that much, right? I think that's how he's going to try to rationalize his alcoholism here. It's like, I just put this much, because there's no other reason to tell us about these fucking exact amounts, right? But who knows? Who knows? Let's go. He loves I'm doing that, though. Uh-huh. Fill it about this much with rum and this much with coke. Oh, opposite. Let's I was wrong. Go. He went the opposite. The opposite. But the opposite. I like yeah. that you were on the you were on the path though. <laughs> yeah, I was the opposite. He he is being strong, uh, very boastful about his alcoholism here. Um, I probably fill it about this much with rum mm -hmm. and this much with coke. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's the rum and coke I was talking about. Yeah. So I'm yeah. two for two. <laughs> yeah, nice. And, uh, rum on the rocks, and uh, that'll get you going. After a little bit, you'll uh. Huh? You'll, you'll start to slur your words, so. <laughs> <laughs> you'll start to slur and your words. And that's what you want. That's what you're going for, the slur the words level. <laughs> when you make commentary it. videos, you're trying to slur. That's, uh -huh. what the, that's what the audience loves. Oh, bingo. It's, I don't recommend doing that on a regular basis. I don't do that on a regular basis. Okay. Right, um, right, question, right. Next one is from Jamie uh -huh. Jordan. Jamie and the Jordan. question is, Dear Phil, I wanted to know what you wanted for Christmas. You've been giving to the fans so much lately, and I was wondering what you wanted for back from the fans well, oh god here we go money 
money. <laughs> he can't say that now. He's probably going to say, just want you to watch the videos, enjoy the videos. I mean, what else can you say? Interesting question, and I appreciate that you actually asked something like that because it's not often that the fans actually would ask, you know, something like me, what I want. And the honest answer is this. It's not anything physical. <laughs> it's not anything physical. It's basically, I just hey, like pal, you guys. It's not physical. Number one, have a great Christmas and enjoy the holidays with oh, your family. God. And uh, oh. number two, to continue to do what you've been doing. Uh, watch, rate, participate. Yeah. And, uh, just oh, watch, yeah, rate, dude. Participate. Nice. We're not doing crap yet. We're not saying comment, rate, participate, but watch, rate, participate, rap. Enjoy, participate on the website as well. Um, now there's almost up to 6,000 members on the website, thekingofhate.com. Yeah. And uh, the one thing that I could ask for uh -oh. is that in addition to doing what you're doing, spread the word. Because like a lot of people have said, yeah, I actually saw a question. Well, spread the word. Put it in my questions because it's a question that's been asked a hundred times. But the question is this. Phil, why is it that there are other people who do video game playthroughs on YouTube that have three times as many subscriptions as you, but they're not funny? Oh, my God. Yeah, that email you get every fucking day, right? Uh-huh. How do people have more subscriptions than you, but they're not funny? Maybe they're not immature fucks that you would rather watch than them? YouTube, they have Ugh. three times as many subscriptions Watch. as you, but they're not funny. Uh-huh. I don't get it. Don't my get answer it. is, I don't fucking know. I think know. he wrote this one. Uh, maybe uh -huh. it's because I don't professionally <laughs> yep. promote my stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't do the promoted videos. You don't professionally do shit. Uh, yeah, what, what part <laughs> do you do professionally? For whatever reason, YouTube really doesn't like to put me on its featured videos page. I've noticed that. And maybe it's because of my language or whatever. That uh -huh. could be. I'm not sure. Um, YouTube keeps it can also be the numerous, numerous copyright claims he's getting all yeah, of yeah. the time, apparently. <laughs> channels, partner channels, regardless of the fact that there are other channels out there, like Chugga Conroy, like Michelle. Chugga Conroy, that's a shout out. Chugga Conroy Yo. was like original Let's Player. I mean, not original. He came out around after Phil, but uh, he was a huge Let's Player back in the day. I, mean, I know the name. Never seen the guy. He's Great guy. Going. Never met him. I think he's still going, too. I mean, someone that has not out. The Phil has not outlasted because I think he's still going strong. But let's see. Chuck Conroy, who else? Machinima, who constantly put up gaming footage. Oh, Machinima? He's not with Machinima yet. There are other channels out there, like Chuck Conroy, like Machinima, who constantly put up gaming footage, and they are partner channels. Um, so, yeah, it is annoying, but uh, the best thing I could say is if you really are concerned about that kind of thing, you got to spread the word. You gotta tell all your friends out there who play games, screw these other channels that have really <laughs> crappy content or content that's so focused on one style of game like FPS games, and go look at someone who's funny and who plays everything. I mean, uh -huh. but can't wait to go to school with that news, guys. Check this I would, out, uh, dude. I would be so upset if one of my friends told me to watch DSP back in the day, like when I was in school. I would never forgive that person. Fuck <laughs> everyone else. This guy's doing all different kind of games, and he's funny. Now this is my gonna be my full time job for at least a little bit. Um, yep, not sure about it yet. Still not sure about the full time job thing yet. Yep, it's those times. It's gonna have great potential to grow. I'm uh -huh. gonna be able to focus more on what I'm doing. Um, I'll be able to more to sit down and consider more what I want to do rather than just rush through stuff, which is what I've done what? a lot in the past two years. He continues um, to do and that. To branch out, like I said, I want to travel. I want to meet people in uh, person. I want to nope, get my nope, name out there. Nope. Not um, doing that why anymore. Is it that there are people like Spoony. And Spoony, shout out hey! to Spoony. Hey, Spoony Vision, gotta have it right now. When he Love says... your Ultima retrospective style. <laughs> when he says Spoony, we gotta give the Spoony. You know, the angry video game nerd. And when they hey, angry video game nerd. All the shout outs. All the bros coming out. Um, Why is it that there are people like Spoony and, you know, the angry video game nerd. And when they go to gaming conventions, they're like the special guest. <laughs> yeah, because they're Cause awesome. <laughs> I was just about to say, because they make good content. That's pretty much it. Because they work very hard on the videos they put out. Yep, yep. That's why they're the rock stars. <laughs> people they, like them. It's weird. And they do feel... They do fill Q and A halls, unlike a certain Philip at Magfest. That would happen two years after this. But then I actually look and I find out that half the time, like some of these people, I'm more popular than them. It's just that there's no <laughs> gauge. There's no, there's no one area that says, "Oh, by the way, he gets this many views, but he gets this many views, and he has a website." Hand graphs. I love there was, it. There is no metric where he was bigger than AVGN ever. No, th there's none. I don't care what your metric is. What is the metric? He's trying no, to dude, say but he was here. He was here, though, and AVGN <laughs> was there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, I know okay. you can't see either yeah, hand yeah. metric, but uh, you just got to believe me. Uh -huh. Some of these people, I'm more popular than them. It's just that there's no gauge. There's no, 
There's no one area that says, oh, by the way, he gets this many views, but he gets what? this many views. There's no gauge this works. None, except for hand graph gauge. That's it. <laughs> and he has a website that's popular, and he does this and this. The most reliable gauge I can think exist. of. So uh -huh. a lot of people might not even know about me because they're so focused on these other circles. I, honestly, that's what I think it is. I think people kind of focus. Reminder, the question was, how can, what can, what do you want for Christmas? That was the... <laughs> That was the question. And now we're I'm so glad you remember the question. <laughs> I forgot already. I should put it on screen every time because we just talk about random shit. It doesn't matter what the question is. <laughs> Focus on one thing that they like a lot uh -huh. on the internet and then they just watch that one thing. For example, okay. when I found about the angry video game nerd like five years ago, I watched him hardcore for like a year. I loved everything he did. But then come to find out there was a bunch of other stuff like the that guy with the glasses. Most people aren't like dumb and like you know, they find other stuff. Most people like, oh, I like AVGN now, so I'm only going to watch AVGN. Like, most people don't work like that, you know? Like, I don't get this. <laughs> hey, 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 whoa. S well, speak for yourself. When <laughs> I found two best friends play, that was pretty much it for years. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I'm kind of a tist like that. Uh, just tell you up front. All right, all right. But then come to find out there was a bunch of other stuff, like the, that guy with the glasses. I got the glass. Spoonie, he's pretty entertaining. You know, a Everyone's coming out. Big names. Double shout around. out for Spoonie, dude. Uh -huh. Damn. A bunch of people out there doing interesting stuff, and it wasn't related to the nerd. And it was like, wow, I've been missing out because all I've been looking at lately was the nerd. Um... <laughs> the nerd. I the like nerd. Says the nerd. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not wrong, but it's funny. I was just stuck like, watching the nerd. <laughs> and so basically, I think people get this tunnel vision, and they don't branch out. And I think a lot of people do that. Maybe they see each other kind of right and say, wow, oh, that's pretty good sub, and I'll just watch him from now on. They don't ah, so he said, why aren't they doing that with me? Just do that with me, guys. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just watch me, no one else. Why aren't you doing that with me? Come on. <laughs> there's other people out there that do it. Another thing that I really think hurt me is that my channel got shut down, you know, partially this year. I think I had, a real, I had a head of steam. I, was... I wonder why that happened, you know? Uh, by the way, guys, click on the ads if you see them. <laughs> Yeah, if you cool. could, guys, look, if you could click on that, that'd be great. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. Full speed ahead. I had like 70,000, almost 70,000 subs, and then getting shut down for a month, a lot of people left and never came back. Or a lot of people are still, for whatever reason, because they don't spend a lot of time on YouTube, they're not aware I have other channels. They think that the Dark Side Phil channel oh. is still the main channel. I don't know what else I could possibly do. I've got the fucking links to all the channels there. Every time I put up a new video on another channel, I put it on the Dark Side Phil page, and it blatantly says it's on a different channel, but they just don't listen, these people. So I don't know what else to say. Um, but I would it's almost say like it's super inconvenient for them. Uh -huh. That's, is, I don't know what yeah. to tell you, man. A lot of people don't like their inbox spammed or... <laughs> yep, and you see, he already knows that too. At 2010, he knows that. If it gets spammed, they only want to spam with one type of video. And the way that YouTube spam. is set up is that, unfortunately, if I'm doing a playthrough and someone subscribes to my videos, um, it fills their inbox with my videos, and they yeah. get frustrated about that. So, anyway, <laughs> no, no, no mention of that. Anything you want to say about that? Uh, yeah, I guess that's the way it is. I mean, all I can say is this: what I would like for Christmas. Please keep doing what you're doing. Watch, rate, and participate. Full circle. Uh, spread the word um, about me, and ch and hopefully, you know, in a year, if I can double my my popularity, double, this will be something popularity. that I can lock and say. Double double this popularity. This is my job, and here's why: because I can prove that there's verifiable income coming from here that's constant, that's not going to go away, and this and this and this and this, and then I can make this into a professional business, and we can branch out and really start growing. But for now. Uh huh. I need a little bit more security before I can even look into doing that kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens. But I don't need anything physical from anyone. I'm just I'm just wanting you guys to keep enjoying this. And if God, this question could have been over a long time ago. Think of it this way: if you keep watching, rating, and participating, uh -huh. I will keep being able. To and do he keeps this. saying it though. And it, works, it works for both sides. You know what I mean? So, How's it work for both sides? What do I get? So let's just keep doing what we're doing. Okay. All right. Um, okay. All right. Two more questions. One of them's quick. Uh. What are those rolls behind where you sit on top of your desk? They have blue legs and a cylinder on the top. Oh, God. The, the, the thing that... The, those right there stayed in that position for a full year. But let's see them explain what they are. You know, I'm glad they asked, though, because... Oh, lint okay, rollers. I know what they are. Lint yeah, rollers. they're lint rollers. Okay, okay. I couldn't tell, but I'm he glad somebody <laughs> asked, because now I know. He didn't use... It. They stay there for a full year. It's called a lint brush, a lint roller. And you go like this, and you get lint off of it. I know that was a very exciting question for everyone. I have no idea why he asked that. 
I couldn't I like tell how, though. I like how <laughs> you put it like right back in the exact same place. Like that's not like its place. You know what I'm saying? Like it just that's not like the final resting place. But he put it back the exact same way, like it is. You know? Is it? Well, we seen his house today on my stream, and I'm not convinced he puts anything back where it goes. Oh, no. Just you just leave shit everywhere <laughs> all of the time, and it's fine. That was from Puppet Doctor. We got well, Puppet actually, Doctor. Actually, I think that might have been a woman. But anyway, sorry. All right, last question. Oh. This is from JRU346. Okay. Would it be possible for you to offer more affordable sign memorabilia for your fans? I, for one, would love to purchase any... More okay. affordable sign memorabilia for fans? How is it? Is it Like empty overpriced? game boxes, dude. Is it overpriced now? <laughs> Autograph item, photographs, fan art, or cafe press items, but I don't have the disposable income required for the big ticket items that you've been auctioning on eBay, such as the joysticks. Ah, the joystick. Okay, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, those were yeah. super expensive. They were like 300 bucks. Yeah, yeah. So he's looking for a more affordable sign merch. I'm sure there are plenty of fans like myself that don't necessarily play fighting games, e.g. joystick products, that would be more than happy to purchase more accessible e -G. gifts. <laughs> also, please forgive me if you've already covered this. I haven't, so very valid question. You see how like already like scared the questioners are about like pissing them off though. Like they always do that. Oh, like, they're just, terrified. Sorry if you've already answered this, sir, but I'm just interested in more affordable style, e.g., fighting. You know, like it's just really <laughs> they're real scared here. You know, like he's got them under wraps. He's got them on really? lock. You know, rules with an iron fist, man. Yeah, damn. I know you're getting a PO box in the near future, but until then, I'd be willing to pay. You know, up front for something. For example, an 11 by eight and a half printed graphic of your choice that you could sign or something like that. <laughs> anyway, um... It's a DSP style question, though. Eleven, For example, 11 and a half by 8 picture of you. Like, what? Just say picture. Very specific. Oh, until, he yeah. loves that, though. I, you know, this actually turned out to, to now working, being working out as a full-time job. I never even thought about that because I was like, that's silly. Oh, you know, there's not going to be demand for, like, like, for example, if I printed out this logo on a sheet of paper and I autograph it... I he uses his own... Mouse, mouse by the way, you gotta love that. <laughs> would never yeah. thought someone would want something like that or would pay for something like that. Uh -huh. But now it seems apparently there is demand for it, and uh, that's pretty cool. So I mean, very I'm strange to me that he uses his it, own mouse pad like that's that, what I'm though. Saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I would never do something like that. Just being up front, that's not me <laughs> that, behavior. <laughs> you got three clocks that say King of Hate. What I'm gonna on do them. is. Probably after December ends. In January, there's going to be some downtime. There's going to be two or three weeks there where oh, uh -huh. I really have some time to figure out some stuff I want to do. I think a couple things I'm going to do. I think the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to redo all the merch on Cafe Press. I'm going to add new products with the new show. So there might be an Ask the King logo. Oh, oh God. We got to get that. An mm. apron with Cooking with the King and stuff. <laughs> apron hey. with Cooking. That, that would come out. He would follow through on that. Like that. That's what people have been asking for. We should right, get more cooking with like the king that. to this um, day. Uh -huh. In addition to that, um, I'm also probably going to be looking to add new stuff. So, Ooh. for example, if people were interested in something like that, that's simple. That's something I could, obviously, if you just want my autograph or something like that, an 8x10 logo that I could print. Maybe I could get nicer paper. Obviously, I'm not going to use regular a shitty sheet of paper. <laughs> Maybe I can get some of that matte format. Yeah, do a printout and sign it, please. Paper and print out better paper and send you one for... He really thought he was a wrestler or something. Oh, huh? yeah. He thinks he's all that because people ask questions like this. He thinks he's a fucking king. That's possible. Uh, again, I... I I'm not full of myself, so I didn't think that that would be anything that people would want. But now, oh, of course not. It seems like people are now starting to ask me for that kind of stuff. I am getting a lot of feedback on the joysticks that, wow, this is great that you're offering them, but they're going for really high prices, and unfortunately, a lot of us don't have that kind of money. We like something small. So, okay, I get the I get the message, and I'll look into it. Um, uh -huh. Another, a couple other things I'll be looking at to do when I have some downtime is what new shows am I going to want to put out? For example. I did talk about having a show where I might talk about, like, back in the day. Back in the 90s, what was it like to go to an arcade <laughs> and actually have people line up playing games? What was it All right, well, this that show would not happen, but it would be a part of future Ask the King, so get ready for that. I'd like to go to an arcade-based fighting game tournament. What was it like to be there on the launch day of the Nintendo 64 and uh, <laughs> stuff like that? I had a lot of oh, yeah, man. Yeah, really sounds, showing your age there, this Phil. Come high, on, dude. Story, so... Yeah. Oh God. That sorry. might be a series I would be in the future. God. And uh, in addition to that, maybe some other stuff. Like I said, I want to look to see what kind of gaming conventions and things are out there. Magfest is going to be out because it's already hey. sold out. But if there's other stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, in the area, I... he would do that Magfest. He would do that Magfest two years after this came out. 
to go to wall to wall um, pack they were lined up outside <laughs> lined up. doing it and also i might get back into the tournament scene probably with the release ah, he would try that as well in the 2011 he would try to make a push to get back in tournaments uh didn't get reached the heights he was looking for but he did at least attempt it capcom 3 on the middle of february i might start going to tournaments again so there's a lot to think about a lot to digest but to answer your question jru 346 Give me, give me till next month. Let me see what I can work out, and we'll uh -huh. see what I can do about that kind of stuff. So okay. I'll get back to you. So, all right, that's it for this edition of Ask the King. Hope you've enjoyed. There's a little minute left in this video. I'm not sure we're going to get here. I hope I answered a lot of your questions. Um, again, remember, if you want to submit a question for the next Ask the King, go to thekingofhate.com. There will be a new thread that I'll be putting up later today for the next edition of Ask the King, which will be in two weeks. Uh -huh. Now, if I remember correctly, today's the 9th, so 9, 10, 11, 12, so we might be able to squeeze one in before Christmas. We will. It'll be basically the Christmas episode of Ask the King. It'll be Unfortunately, that one's gone. Episode 5 is gone. A couple days early. Rest in peace. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, so we'll see what happens in a couple weeks. Uh, until then, uh, stay warm. It feels like my heat is working, which is good, so I don't have to... Oh, yeah, we forgot. We started this episode with the whole cold shit, remember? That's all was I, Yeah, dude, I totally <laughs> forgot. Yeah. He really just lulls my brain into forgetting everything... <laughs> He started the hey. whole episode. He started the episode with like this whole cold spiel, and then now it's like it was never a thing ever. So yeah, it was stinky. He made the, the face. I remember. Yeah. Cold up to now. It wasn't a very good. I'm trying to suck. I'm not gonna lie. And then finally, I turned it on today, and I was like, "All right, I just have to do it." So, all right, that's it. I'm DSP. I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot. All right, fuck you. All right, you know we got one more episode. We're gonna jump to episode seven. Uh, for our last, our, our second and last of the day. Um, oh, big ups, Kevin. If you Kevin. make fun of any stream chatter, Derek or other... No, big ups, Kevin, loser. for the tanner. If you make fun of a, a, a Derek or anyone, you're a fucking loser. Okay, don't forget that. Uh, but Kevin says, would you pay $5 to access a li li Little Big Planet 2 level where Mark Wahlberg is modding a joystick while riding a lint-rolled endangered necrophiliac zombie penisaur eating earwax off a Christmas tree? No homo. <laughs> That was a thick, that's a thick referenced chat there, Kevin. You're a legend, dude. That was nice. You know the lore inside and out, and I appreciate that, my friend. And yes, I would. I'm going to go with yes, though. Yeah, yeah, 100%. $5, that's easy, man. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, we're, we're jumping forward three months here from the time we just watched. We're going to February of 2011. Things to watch out for, and Frog Machine, I know you know better than me. But I believe we're getting closer to talking with Machinima. I think we might be still be a few months out from that. We could be in that time where Machinima is reaching out to him and he's not answer He's saying no at beginning. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not sure. I might be off my timeline. But we're getting to that time where he's entering a world where he's going to join Machinima. But I'm not sure we're there yet. Here we go. Lay up, motherfucker. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the February... <laughs> Different camera angle here. We're, we, we can't see the lint rollers, and we're just zoomed in a little more. We have our buttoned-up shirt. Oh, bro Frog Machine, right on time. He signed with Machinima by the end of January, so we're already signed. This is the beginning of February, so we are already signed with Machinima at this time. Big ups. Thanks, Frog oh, Machine. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Machinima-style content. Yes, yeah. February 3rd edition, 2011, of Ask the King uh, on DSP, and I'm here to answer... Oh, Your forum paper. and Twitter questions. It's like uh, and actually, to be completely honest, there's a lot of really good questions this time. I'm you actually always say that. surprised. So, so many good questions. Get right into it because I have three pages of questions to talk oh, about. God. Jesus. Okay. The first question. Okay. It says, hey, DSP, we have Marvel vs. Capcom 3 coming out soon, and I wanted to ask a question. Okay. As you know, many of your fans don't really care for fighting games, if not most of them. Well, I disagree there. I think that a lot of my fans like fighting games, and that's kind of how they found me watching me play uh, Street Fighter 4. But anyway. I disagree. I disagree entirely. He has two... He's built his... his he, he has this misconception about his fan base here. Uh, he started with YouTube, real quick, Atlas History Lesson. You probably know it, but he started on YouTube making videos just with Street Fighter because in the SRK, people were very hungry for that shit. If you play anything Street yes. Fighter, you get a, thousands of views. Then he started doing normal games, and then he found a different audience... I'm sure there was some crossover, but very few audience because for generally people in SRK hated Phil's sh uh, you know fighting game content because it's unbearable, it's just unbearable bitching and complaining. That's all it was. But the people on YouTube that found them just from YouTube, they're looking for anything too. So when he's playing any game, 
they're watching because they're, they'll watch anybody play any game. But he's trying to say he's getting he he he. There's some kind of link, but there really is not, and there never was. They're very two different camps, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, no, that's my understanding as well. Yeah, but big ups, Vikes. Could we ever get randomized good bad bubble blows? Yeah, Vikes, that's in the, that's in the cards. We do need different bubble blows. I agree. I'm just finding um, out so that they're like, not that that's not even an option, and I'm low key heartbroken. I thought maybe <laughs> we would get a good one at some point, and uh, I'm kinda, finding out now that's not the case. That was the meme. They're all bad, but I can fix. I can fix that. I can do that. They found me watching me play uh, Street Fighter Four. But anyway, okay. anyway, I just thought I was getting unlucky. Uh, you said that you like to devote many many hours to this game. Well, can you try to drive us non Street Fighter fans into this? Uh, what I ask. Is if you can make a how-to videos or something like that, giving us Street Fighter Too much work. a chance to Get catch up and here. follow. I recently <clears throat> bought a Sega Genesis to play Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, there, that game was never released for Sega Genesis, FYI. But anyway, Ooh, oh, you don't even a, know what you're talking about. Get him out of here. Is that a parade or not? I, I, I say no. But what do you think? I'll let you make the last call. Was that oh, parade or not? Oh man. Mm, it was it was a slight berate like he just basically just said you don't know what you're talking about you're stupid <laughs> but he didn't say those exact words so okay we'll say uh, no. we'll say no we'll yeah say we'll say no we'll say no and i'm not that Still not great all. if you can make segments on tips tactics i guess you left out a word here what you should do in some situations etc that would be awesome and i'm sure many fans feel the same as i do and that's actually from playstation 3 that's right the actual console, PlayStation 3, wrote Shut me that question. Up. Um, shut up, shut up. Well, awesome. the answer is this. Uh, I actually am planning to do that. Uh, oh. When Marvel vs. Oh, yeah. Capcom 3 comes out, I want to treat it how I treated Street Fighter 4 initially when that game came out. And if you remember, what I did is first I played the living hell out of it online. I just kept playing, playing, playing. The difference this time is I know that the online play kind of sucks. Uh, I really don't think that the netcode is going to be good enough to uh, hold up uh, any kind of online play in that game. How do you know? Mm. What's your what's your reasoning behind that? I'd love to know. Well, given so that I'm... hindsight is 50-50, and this was in 2011, and it's 2023, and the netcode's still not good enough, mm -hmm. I mean, I could say the netcode wasn't going to be good enough, but oh, yeah, you're right. right. How does he know that? It's... <laughs> Play it with... Like, I don't know if you know this, but there's like a lot of pixels and stuff. Netcode is not going to be able to catch up with that. Dude. Like, I bet that's what he's thinking. People offline. There's a lot of people in Connecticut here who have been recruiting to play this game with me. So we're going to play the hell out of the game. And then maybe after a week or two, once you figure out what are the good strategies, what are the things that, that are the best to do, I'm going to do things such as character tutorial videos, maybe just basic gameplay tutorial videos. So you're going to see a lot of variety in the footage that I do. Yes, you, the majority of it is going to be match footage, A whole lot of variety. You're two also things. going to see tutorial videos and also <laughs> tournament videos. for tournament. How many lists can we make here? <laughs> that I attend, I'll be here. Yeah. Character tutorials, basic gameplay tutorials, tournament videos, and what was the second one? I don't even remember. So you're going to see a lot of variety in the footage okay, that I do. Yes, you, the majority of it is going to be match footage. Yes. But you're also going to see tutorial videos and also okay. tournament videos for ah, tournaments tournament. that I attend. I'll be recording those matches. So that was a great question. Very timely. And, uh, yeah, that's the kind of stuff you can expect oh, great. Uh, as I start to play new fighting games this year. Both both Marvel 3 and Mortal Kombat 9, I plan on doing that. So. Okay. Okay. All right, the next question. Shout out MK9. Uh, that game was good. The inclusions and exclusions in the cast of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and that's from Crutch93. Um, kind of a, I, I don't know, I'm kind of I'm on the fence on this because okay. some of the characters are really good, like Wesker. I mean, that was a shoe in Wesker, Wesker, over the past couple uh, episodes of Resident Evil, he's become almost like a super villain. He's super powerful. He fits in with the cast of a game like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Uh, Super Scroll, great choice. He's got the powers of all the Fantastic Four. I've seen his gameplay; it looks really unique. He's going to be a good inclusion. Uh, but then I, I hate his gaming opinions; they're the most boring. See stuff like yeah, oh, he nah. is definitely something else when it comes to gaming opinions. Uh, <laughs> um, Taskmaster, and I'm like, who are they? <laughs> what? Taskmaster. Yeah. Yo, Master? big ups, Taskmaster. <laughs> Damn. Modok. Um. Taskmaster, and I'm like, where were they getting? <laughs> He's a very offended by Taskmaster. Jesus, taking some heat. Doesn't he have a Taskmaster uh, statue? Oh, now that's a fool. Does he have the task? Hold on. I feel like he does. I'm going to get a video. Maybe he does it. Maybe I'm thinking I might be thinking about something else. All right, here's, let's see. We got to see Taskmaster. So here's Taskmaster. <laughs> this is the, oh. the feed known as Taskmaster. <laughs> there we go. Maybe maybe I'm misremembering, but I feel like I seen one one time. All right, I don't want to mislead the people. 
Modoc. Um, <laughs> Who's, I gotta know who Modoc is too. That just sounds funny too. Oh, uh, Modoc's that guy. He's, he's like a built-in chair or something, isn't he? Okay. Oh, I found <laughs> Modoc. Modoc set looks hype. Oh, he's like a little Krang style, like from Turtles. He looks a little Krang esque. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'd be, he's like floating and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Look at the Modoc. <laughs> Got Modak and Taskmaster. Taskmaster? <laughs> and I'm like, where were they getting these choices from? They're definitely a lot more popular Marvel characters who they could have chosen. At least on the Capcom side, I can kind of understand why they're choosing who they're choosing. I am a little disappointed, because on the Capcom side, I'd actually prefer to see maybe some lesser-known Darkstalkers. Like, why isn't Sasquatch or... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Is it Sasquatch? Or was Sa he said Sasquatch, but what is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Is that like a different character? <laughs> he says Sasquatch. He definitely says Sas. I thought it was Sasquatch, but who's Sasquatch? He definitely says Sas. <laughs> yeah, what's the Sasquatch? Why they're choosing who they're Listen. choosing. I am a little disappointed. Because on the Capcom side, I'd actually prefer to see maybe some lesser-known dark stalkers. Like, why isn't Sasquatch or uh, John Talbain? Hold on. Fantastic Mr. Sam was talking over that one. Here we go. Some lesser-known dark stalkers. Like, why isn't Sasquatch or... Uh... <laughs> Sasquatch? Is, I mean, is anyone... Is, is Sasquatch... Yeah, is anybody familiar with this? Okay, is no, he mispronouncing it's, something? It, it is. It's just Sasquatch. It's literally Sasquatch. Unless it's pronounced differently. Oh. But here's Sasquatch. I mean, it looks like a Sasquatch, <laughs> but <Yeah>, Sasquatch. <man. laughs> I gotta hear Sasquatch again. Hang on. I'd actually prefer to see maybe some lesser-known dark stalkers. Like, why isn't Sasquatch or uh, John Talbain? <laughs> why aren't they in the game? Instead, you get the same old people. Sasquatch. Well, Morgan and Felicia, and it's like, isn't that kind of a cop out? Yeah, shout out Felicia. Uh -huh. fact, uh, Definitely. Morgan's been in two Marvel games. Uh, I guarantee you, she's gonna play very similarly to how she used to. And how it's would like, you have any fucking That's kind of lame. Give us new characters, you know? And maybe on the flip side of that, maybe that's why characters like Taskmaster and MODOK are good choices. Oh. Because they're completely new. Their gameplay style might be completely different. Oh. Now, on the same base as that, you've got returning characters like Magneto, Storm, and Sentinel. And as soon as everyone saw those three, they groaned and said, Oh, God, is it going to be like Marvel 2 all over again? They were overpowered in that game. Personally, don't think oh, yeah, they were top-tier picks, for sure. I know that. I think there's going to be some variations in the gameplay that are going to make it a completely different animal. But that's just my take. I watched some of the videos of Sentinel. Uh, he definitely doesn't look... He doesn't look as, as threatening as he used to be. Uh, fly on fly doesn't seem like it works the same as it used to. Um, he, it, it also Remember the question was... <laughs> just to remind everybody... Will you be Please. doing any kind of, uh, you know, tutorial style videos to get people into fighting games? Since the questioner said, I don't think a lot of your people on YouTube enjoy your fighting game content. That was the question. Now we're talking deep about, oh no, am I wrong? Was this the question? Who, who do you, no, the question was, I know, <laughs> my bad. What do you think about the new characters in the game? That was the question. This looks like my maybe bad. He's lost some of his super I would have believed you either way. I didn't remember nothing. <laughs> seems like a long time I get ago. so lost. <laughs> yeah. He might still have it, but not as much. And I really don't think he's going to be. I, he'll be a good character, don't get me wrong, but he's going to be the biggest character in this game. He's going to be a moving target. So uh -huh. it's a brand new game. Okay. These same kind of questions popped up when Marvel 2 came out. And uh -huh. between Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2, completely different games changes in gameplay changes in the button layout we're talking the same exact thing from marvel 2 to marvel 3 i uh, i reserve my official opinions until i actually have no, uh, enough hands-on experience with the game okay okay <laughs> we're gonna reserve our opinion here but with little big planet 2 i'm just gonna play it and i'm gonna hate it it uh -huh. is what it is yeah question hey phil who are you gonna main in marvel 3 and who do you want to be in the game as well? Sorry, I'm just checking my stopwatch here. Yeah, sorry, just check, <laughs> checking my phone. Uh, <laughs> stopwatch. Big pool. That's from Bark Flyer. Uh, who do I want to be in the game that's not in it? I would have... <laughs> if he says Sasquatch, we're done. <laughs> who do I want to be? I want to be Sasquatch. I'd love to see someone like World War Hulk. Because that was a big thing going on. What? World All right. War Hulk. Hold on. I'm on the Google. I gotta uh, see this. World War Hulk. World War Hulk. Yeah, it exists. Big ups World War Hulk. We're learning so much today. Big ups to World War Hulk. <laughs> That's what's important. It's learning. <laughs>
World War Hulk is pretty hype. He looks like armored up. He's an armored fighter for World War Hulk. Now, Who I'm needs Hulk. tanks when you got I don't Hulk? Know. I have a couple people I'm, I'm eyeing. I'm eyeing Wesker. I'm eyeing Super Scroll. Oh, I'm eyeing. But let's face it, they're not going to choose those outliers. Um, but who am I going to main? I don't know. I have a couple people I'm, I'm eyeing. I'm eyeing Wesker. I'm eyeing Super Scroll. Uh, <laughs> I've been looking for, like, I, I, when I first started playing Marvel 3, I like playing, like, a villains team. Like, I play Doctor Doom, Blackheart. Yeah. And, you know, maybe a third villain. Badass. Um, and I used to, like, even color coordinate the team. But, uh, <laughs> what? Color coordinate the team? Is that is that fighting game community members? That's something people do? Color coordinate your team? That's hey, <laughs> you know, in Dark Souls, they say half of it is about fashion. That's why they call it fashion souls. When it no, comes definitely. to fighting games, maybe it's same, uh, maybe it's the same kind of theory, you know? Yeah, Color coordination is like, important. Like making your, you know, like in you're playing a card game, you might get all foils or something like that. Like just make, just bling it out, you know what I'm saying? But oh, same color choices in the, in the, maybe the costumes. Obviously, as time progressed, people found out those That's why we bought all the costumes stop. when it came to Street Fighter 6. We got to get all the colors so we can color coordinate. Uh -huh. Here's now all changed. So initially, I'm probably going to pick characters who I see, I, I like their design, right, so I like thing. their fighting Thank style. You, but over time, it might evolve to the best characters in the game. So we have to see. Um, <clears throat> Okay, I got it. But Thank anyway, you. we'll see how it progresses. Thanks, Josh. Just a couple yeah. of my, my ideas. Uh -huh. uh, next question. Anyway. Dear Phil, I know you have a fairly busy schedule with new releases and all, but do you plan on so going busy. back to Fallout New Vegas and doing side quests? Oh, fog out. I loved your Fallout playthrough. I so love New Vegas. I whether or not you would go back before you invest a shitload of time in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That's from Symbolic. Well, great timing for that question. Uh, because <laughs> from what I see... Next week, there are no new game releases, at least any that I'd be interested in. And so it may be kind of a filler week. And what I may do, and I'm not saying this 100% yet, but my idea for next week is maybe oh. I'll make, make up some of the fan appreciation days, which I had to skip during that whole week uh, in January where the TV fiasco was going on. Uh, and it might be a good time to do that because actually... Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which I did not play, now has some new maps and new game modes. So it might be the perfect time to try those out. In addition to that, uh, I'm thinking that wait, I maps may, and game modes for uh, Assassin's Creed Fallout Brotherhood? Is that what we're talking about? And, uh, I checked that already. Try to do a couple <laughs> of side missions that I didn't do. I'm just waiting for this question to be over. Now, I did most of the major ones. I think there's only one or two major things that I didn't even do. But one of them is one of the hardest in the game. I think it's taking out a whole shitload of super mutants. It might be a little easier now because I have the, the alien blaster, so that may be a little bit... That sounds pretty tough, dude. Don't want to do it. Overpowered. Yeah, shout out the alien blaster. Rifle. That's a good yeah. noob's choice. Uh, Love it. Money. Um, so it could be interesting to go back uh, and see what happens. Also, some people have said... Yeah, he probably hated like dead money. Me, oh, Phil, you know, uh, that, that gun that you used... Yeah, the entire I've got a dead money tattoo. It's my favorite. He hated oh, nice. it. I promise. Uh, <laughs> There's only one of them known. It's in this rare... Wait, how... Uh, is that... Okay, so that's... Hold on. To check the significance of that. Are you are you a multi tattooed style human, or is that one of the one of few that so it means a lot? Oh no, I'm a multi tattooed style. Uh, I, my okay, arm's okay. done up to the elbow. Okay, so you got you. you it is on my heart though, so <laughs> it it does mean a lot to me. I do love New Vegas. It's my favorite game. Period. So you have like a Where's Waldo style situation where you might have it take a while to find it, but once you find it, you'd find meaning in it. Got it, got it. Not on the chest. The okay, chest okay. is so, that's the only thing on the chest okay, right now. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. That is pretty meaningful. Air, uh, area. Sounds meaningful. And, uh, you know, there's people been sending me that kind of stuff. Curated so style. Next week might be like a, a filler week, but it might be one of the uh, most interesting weeks because I might be going back to New Vegas. I might be doing more fan appreciation that I didn't get to do. Oh, God. So stay tuned for that. I'll we'll have more updates on that. I'm tuned. Oh, I'm so <laughs> tuned. Excuse me. Uh, next question. Hey, Dark Side. That snort got an excuse me. That's rare back in these days. Watch. He does a double double snort into the excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> it was the clearing. The snort of it. throat clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The clearing got the excuse me. Next question. Hey, Dark Side Phil, here's my question. Okay. The CEO of Microsoft, Steve Ballmer, or Ballmer, Bomber, I don't know how to Here's say Sasquatch. Uh, <laughs> said that the Xbox. Just say Sasquatch. He is in a gaming <laughs> console, and that's what helps differentiate it from its competition. Uh -huh. He then said, Xbox is a family entertainment center. It's a place to socialize. Yeah. It's a place to watch TV. We have Hulu coming. It's the only <laughs> system where you are the... We have Hulu. <laughs> we have Hulu, Hulu buddy. Always very funny in Ubisoft. Those two, he always says very funny. The controller, your voice, your gestures, your body. 
Do you think the Xbox 360 is a gaming console? And do you think that it should cross what? their market to families with the connect or stick to hard games? are these dumb as shit questions? What and that's from is this? His tag is actually excited for 2011, so I don't know what this guy's going to do when it hits 2012. But anyway, um, interesting little quote there that he got from Steve Ballmer. Uh, I agree and I disagree. I oh, God. Agree. Oh, oh the fence it. I love it. <laughs> the most annoying way possible. I'll go through both. Each will take me about 10 minutes. Let's start now. Branching out in a major way, I know a lot of people who watch TV and also movies on the Xbox Oh, me too. Yeah, I actually am one of them. Oh, yeah. um, I regularly download and... Hold on, hold on. What's that weird check of his thumb? Xbox 360, and I actually am one of them. Um, I... <laughs> it's like checking if I have a thumb. Holy shit, I have a hand. He is. You look, he's like, oh, I forgot I have a hand. Um, I this have is some baby <laughs> behavior. I have, yeah. Yeah, I have a hand. <laughs> he raises his hand and then checks it. Like, oh, yeah, I still have it. Wow. Movies on the Xbox 360, and I actually am one of them. Um, look at I hand. Okay. <laughs> what? Very uh, weird. Over the Zoom marketplace on my Xbox 360. Yeah, shout out to Zoom. Uh, uh, because shout number out one, to Zoom. they're in 1080p, uh -huh. and number two, they stream. Uh, which is a really good asset. Now, some might argue the PS3 can do it. A really good what? Stream, uh, which is a really good asset. Now, oh, some asset. might argue the asset. PS3 asset. can do it as well. Right. It's a really good asset. Yes, it can, but the streaming sucks, and the speed I found in comparison to the Xbox 360 is much slower. Uh -huh. So you could do the same thing on the PS3, but the technology there doesn't seem to be up to par with the Xbox. Um, and that's just my opinion. I mean, not my opinion. I'm sorry, my experience. It's not opinion. That's actually fact from what I've experienced. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, it's okay. just my opinion. Well, it's not my opinion. It's, it's my just fact. a fact. It's, a fact. it's my fact. So I rented movies on both. 360 is a much better experience. So okay. in one respect where he says it's not I mean, just he's a not lying, console, though. it's yeah. an entertainment center, I can agree. I disagree where, where he's saying things like, uh, you know, you know, you're the controller, blah, blah, blah. That's not even there yet, okay? Ooh. Yes, I do know that the Kinect, you know, sold like hotcakes. Everyone played the three popular Kinect games, and now everyone's Kinect is fucking sitting in a corner collecting dust because there's no games, and the technology isn't that good. So <laughs> that's exactly what to be expected with this new technology. Remember, when the iPhone came out, everyone rushed to get the iPhone, and they said, oh, shit, the service sucks because it's AT&T. Did anyone think that? I don't remember that. I remember iPhones being hot from the second they dropped, but I don't I'm, remember. I never that. had one, but I knew plenty of girls that did, and it was the new hotness. I thought they so, were hot I don't when, know. from the second they came out, but maybe I'm wrong. You know, when, when everything comes out and it's new, there's this artificial hype that's created around it. Everyone runs out and buys it, and then the reality sets in after a couple of months. And I really think that's what's happening with the Kinect right now. And for me... I actually disappointed because I was hoping there would be a lot of games. <laughs> he checks his dude, hand again. What dude, is going please. on? <laughs> Look at this. He does it again with the other hand now. We get the full hand check. Raise hand. We saw the first one. Yeah, this is. <laughs> raise hand, By check hand. Now, what? And for me, I actually disappointed because I was hoping there would be a lot of games <laughs> that are connect enabled. And right now, there's very something strange to that. behavior. There's something to that. Now, there's nothing. There's nothing announced coming out in 2011 like what the fuck uh -huh. how can you have a new thing an add-on for your system that you hyped up for a long ass time you had a couple months with games and now there's nothing i mean that's insane so <clears throat> obviously he's saying that part just to try to push the connect but uh -huh. yep. for the most part i agree the 360 has become this console uh that does other things uh so socializing i completely agree there's people who are constantly creating parties they just do that to chat with their friends and stuff over xbox live in fact it's, it's cool you can talk to people across the globe you know <laughs> where it's are like you? the best feature dude <laughs> where are you pointing to sir watch this he's pointing somewhere stuff over xbox live in fact it's, it's cool you can talk to people across the globe and you don't have to pay long distance. Well, obviously, charge. ALT really is plenty across the globe. <laughs> Come on, uh, man. Yeah. You got you to gotta give him a little bit. It's the best, yeah. Um, PSN is closed. Ooh, no, in China, they, they say. Oh, yeah, big. The, there. <laughs> capabilities. Uh, the one thing that the PlayStation 3 does have over the 360. No, look, though. Must not have been good. The entertainment yep. front, though, is that Didn't it's a Blu-ray player. So really, each console has its, its power. Oh. Whoa. Negative, I thought he might check it. That was a... That was a maybe that was a does he get something here? Oh, that it's a blue ring. Yeah, it's the, yeah, I think that's I think the nose. He, yep, yep. He got the little nose thing and now it's it's hanging there off his thumb and now he has to check it later. So really Ready? each console 
Hazard's Jack, his still, powers okay, and got it. I'd say they're about equal right now. I don't really see <laughs> any reason this why animal, you buy man. Oh, God. It's a really tough decision if you're a first-time buyer to decide which castle to buy. So. Who cares? Literally no one yeah, cares. I, I, yeah, I... Uh, Please end this. The question here is, do you think they should broaden their market to families with connect or stick to hardcore games? I think that... that as long as we're now, what now we ask now we go to the question you don't only what were we doing until this point exclusively do one I'm, i really don't even know <laughs> i really don't uh -huh. almost the entire focus ended up being on the, the casual audience yeah. and so yeah sure nintendo made a shitload of money for a couple of years but now like who the fuck wants a week like what <laughs> Yeah, only one of the best, if not the best-selling console of all time. Who wants that shit, dude? Nintendo was printing money for multiple years for, all, for you know, just printing money. And, yep, they must be really pissed about that now, right? Uh -huh. What is coming out for the Wii besides Zelda? I don't think they nothing, give a fuck. Nothing announced this year for the Wii. So dude, the nobody cares people... about the Wii except for Zelda. That's just the way it is. <laughs> they, like, reached market saturation with Wii. You know, like, like everyone that could possibly buy one bought one. But and, and I agree with you. The games weren't even there. But who cares? Oh yeah, no, it was fuck. like it was shovelware nonstop. I like my family owned like three Wii's. Like we, yeah. they just kept going gone. I don't know what happened to them. I was young, but yeah, like yeah. So we owned a lot of them. Yeah. So his his name is not wrong, but I mean, they Nintendo give a fuck. Like Zelda, nothing. There's like nothing announced this year for the Wii. So all the casual people are buying it, but the hardcore gamers left in the dust. And what you have to realize is the hardcore gamers are the people that repeatedly buy video uh, games and are going to be there to support your product, as opposed to just cashing in. With I disagree with that. I disagree with that take. You, it, it, Nintendo showed that you can get the casual gamer to buy. That's a whole new market for you. you know? I think mobile games alone prove that casual gamers are willing to spend money. Yeah. It, it doesn't have to be a hardcore thing. Yeah. Casual gamers, and now you're trying to sustain this. How many moms spent money on Candy Crush? Just, like. He's just worried about the hardcore gamer is the most important thing, you know. Dane itself, so. Hardcore gamers are the key. Whatever. It is what it is. I think that 360 <clears throat> will try to cater to both, but I am disappointed that actually there are no Connect games really coming out. Are you? So, okay, next question. Look. I'm just, don't uh, mind me, I'm checking the timing in. Uh, Final Fantasy 13 is getting a direct sequel. What are your thoughts? That's from The little device was thick. I know, that was a thick phone there. I wanted to, kind of wanted to go back. Any, could anyone that know what model this Next is? Next question. But right. Actually, there are no Connect games really coming out. He did have a BlackBerry. Was it that? I think they were pretty okay, thick. I never question. had one either, but... I didn't have one. That is a thick phone, though. Extremely thick. I... Anyone have an idea what that is? Could be a BlackBerry? They were kind of wide like that, too. But. It, do, it does. It looks like a BlackBerry to me, but I, like I said, never had one. I just had some friends who had one. I'm not very familiar. There we go. It's a BlackBerry with the extended battery case. Big ups, David. That's, that's what I love this chat. Getting Thank you, David. In there. Right on time, David. There we go. It's a BlackBerry with the extended battery case. Don't right. uh, mind me. I'm checking the timing in. No, I would have uh, been able to tell you if it was a sidekick, though. <laughs> Seven, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> that's from Mr. David 2112. And my thoughts are this. I guess there are a shitload of people in Japan who fucking love grinding because... <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Hold on, Japan. Those, God, the those first... goddamn Japanese, man. They love grinding. Ten hours of Final Fantasy XIII is really good. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a straightforward game. No grinding required. And then you get... Yeah, so you can just breeze through it. Easy as shit. Don't do anything. To this open world. The way he likes it. Uh-huh. Let's hear let's hear this take. And the gameplay completely changes. It goes from like something that was really good to really just repetitive and boring because you have to sit there and fucking grind. And it's just not that fun at that mm. point. And then the game has an insane difficulty spike at that point. Um because uh, you rush through everything and then when you get to part where it's kind of difficult, you're so under level because you just rush through everything. No, ALT, you're misunderstanding. That's fluff. The side <laughs> content is fluff. I know. We're here for the main story. I know, I know. Just get to the story. <laughs> Just get no to the story. No wings Japanese? I don't think they're going to fix it. I think that they're going to have it. This is going to be the same Ooh. fucking thing. It's probably going to start sounds out derogatory. with a story-based game. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIII 2 or whatever they're calling it. It'll probably start out with heavily story-based, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the game, time to grind, so... Oh, chat is ablaze. Look, nope, John Bono's saying that's actually how the game was. I am but... seeing that. Black Doom is saying the game literally stops you from leveling up. So, hey, what are we going to do? What's the truth? We'll never know. Oh, shit. I never played it. Not a Final Fantasy guy. I can't tell you. <laughs> Final Fantasy 13, I don't think I did play either. Love grinding because Shut up. Hey, it's probably going to start out with a story-based game. 
Yep. Final Fantasy 13 2 or whatever they're calling it. It'll probably start out with heavily story-based, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the game, time to grind. So, it is what it is. Those games, for whatever reason, have a very strong fan base in Japan. It's probably grown to be part of their traditional culture. <laughs> traditional culture. Oh. All right. Thank you Sushi, for re your membership. <laughs> I appreciate that. Sushi, ninjas, and grinding. You know, those three three-pronged... Japanese culture, you know? For me, I'm not so... <laughs> Ooh, on paper, great question. What ringtones do you think Phil had? Uh, sexy back? Barbie girl? I think he might have something... No, he's too insecure to have those kind of unironic kind of gay stuff in his mind, I'm saying. Like, he would not know. do that joke. He would do, like... He would have something basic bitch, though, but, like, some kind of gaming, right? Like, some kind of gaming sound that, like... I don't, I don't know what it would be, but that's that's where my head is at right now. I think it would be some kind of gaming, gaming basic bitch. Like, remember the Mario theme, you know? I, I was something just like about that. to say, like, the Mario theme or, like, the level up <laughs> noise for a text tone or something. Yeah, something like that. The, the one up, <laughs> I mean. Yeah, the one up. That would be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think he'd do that funny as, as something like that. Barbie girl or something. Uh, he might think that's funny though if you had it. If someone else had it, he'd crack his ass up though. You know, oh my god, dude, Barbie girl, oh my god, it's so gay. He would love that. Press like I. I don't think he'd do it himself though, but he would love that joke. That's I've it. said many times I really enjoyed the old traditional Final Fantasy games. Oh yeah, the old traditional Final Fantasy games. Uh huh. You don't have to grind at all in those, do you? Like four uh -huh. and six. Those yeah. were the best in my opinion, and you're never going to get better than that. If you're 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 never gonna get better to what nope. they've done. But anyway, that's my opinion. Okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Next question. Hey Phil, you said before that you you were hated so much that people were booing you on stage when you were playing in a Street Fighter tournament. Why is that? That's right. <laughs> Uh, uh, I yeah. thought it was Evil AJ's fault. What, what are we talking about? All right, so, okay, I obviously I've never heard this. I'm guessing he's going to say, he's going to go to his typical thing of, I was an asshole in the forums because I wanted to bring hype. I wasn't an asshole. I was trying to bring hype. I bet that's what he's going to go for, but uh, let's see. From BTR Chaz. Um, multiple reasons. Number one, because as I've said a hundred times now, I was very outspoken in the Street Fighter community. Uh -huh. I said what I thought was fact or true. That's a light way to put it. A lot of people hated me for it. Oh, tophaters.com poll right on time. That's where he oh, was yeah. an asshole. <laughs> right? Maybe because sometimes it wasn't true. That Only the one star, though. you got to do better than that. Or uh -huh. It was a very biased opinion of what I was saying, so I understand that. Okay. Uh, and the other thing you have to understand is, at the time, uh -oh. in fact, only until maybe the past year or two, Evolution remained a very West Coast focused tournament meaning the most Ooh, I don't know where we're going here most people that attended it were from California and the West Coast area so anyone who came from another region ah, was considered it. an underdog now East Coast, this West has Coast. changed oh my god <laughs> East versus West brother countries. And it's and always it the underdog like the thing for him uh -huh. so uh, I really do think that when I go to Evo this year it's going to be a completely different animal I think that <laughs> you're going to have so many people from so many different <sighs> areas everyone's going to love it's me it's going to be like a it's not gonna be like different one, animal, but the same beast. Fuck this guy! It's gonna be more like everyone just wow. Here we are on the on the grand <laughs> stage, and we're gonna see who's the best in the world. So, you know, going from a little grassroots movement. Hold on, did he say he's gonna win the best in the world? Hold on, I gotta hear that again. Who's the best in the world? So more like oh, everyone just we're wow. gonna see who's the best in the world. Okay, sorry, I thought he said I was one of the best. Oh, in the world. here we are on the on the grand stage, and we're gonna see who's the best in the world. So it, it, yeah, spoilers, yeah. it wasn't him. He didn't even get fourth on this one. You know, Beat and day going one. from a little grassroots movement to a giant thing like Evo has become, that's the kind of changes that happen. Um, <laughs> anyone to praise? Anyone? Maybe you want to praise the creators of Evo or anything? Anything to say about them, Cannon Brothers? <laughs> oh, Ned. Nah, dude, they made Netcode. It's all uh, their fault. He sucks his SF6 to this day. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a question. Hey, Phil, I was watching uh, Cinemassacres, and it says AVGN's latest, and that's the Anger Video Game Nerd for anyone who doesn't know. His latest <laughs> oh. video on his website... Uh, which was entitled James at MAGFest Part 1 Q&A. So uh, the Angry Video Game Nerd attended MAGFest. Huge panel. You want to talk about a huge panel? That's AVGN. I'm thinking I can take a picture of that, actually. Might as well, to show you what a real film yeah, panel if you looks could. like. Uh, hold on. He's probably been done MAGFest like 18,000 years. 2010, I'm looking for. MAGFest 2016. MAGFest 2000 and... MAGFest 7. Oh, fuck. I can't find it now. So Jesus. many MAGFests. He did so many MAGFests. I can't even tell you. Which MAGFest 8? Could this be it? 
Oh, yeah, now we're looking like we got it. Here's what MAGFest was looking like. That's a full room. <laughs> oh, it's looking full. You see how there's there's every there's not an empty chair. All everyone has to sit next to other people because they're filled up. <laughs> That's what it really looks like. They look around the room. This is what this is what a real filled room looks like, and that is a legend there. But anyways, as you know, I wanted to attend it, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to because by the time I uh, had gotten my first payment from YouTube, which would have enabled me to go. No hotel rooms were available. You couldn't reserve a time slot. You couldn't do anything. So at that point, I said, forget it. Because, um, yeah, you probably looked into it, what, like the month before, I'm guessing? You know, oh, MAGFest is next month. Let me check it out. <laughs> okay. And then everything's Yeah, dude broke. can't plan ahead for shit, dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> But anyway, it looks like the nerd did a Q&A. Uh, he says, one of the questions was, have you played any recent games that you thought were really bad? And someone in the audience said heavy rain uh, really loudly. And I was wondering what your reaction to this is. And that's from Charlie. Uh, am I okay, what, uh, what, okay, let's try to guess this one. Because uh, heavy rain, he knows, is one of the most popular playthroughs. I, Been I a fan since heavy rain. Uh-huh. That's, I mean, that's where it comes from. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. He's going to say AVGN is stuck in like a, a, you know, a retro mindset or something like that. Like, you have to make fun of AVGN here, I think. Like, I think if you're DSP, you know, like, I'm better than AVGN, obviously. So I think it's going to be like, maybe he's not, he's refusing to be open to new games. That's what I'm thinking. But what's your guess, Atlas? I, I think that's a safe bet. Shitting on another content creator is always a safe bet when it uh, comes to DSP. We got to get there. So. My reaction to this is, wow, that is one dumb motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, I didn't expect that. That much fire. Ruthless. Holy that's a shit. dumb motherfucker. Holy shit. Dumb motherfucker, AVGN. Get out of here, Bimmy. Uh, and my reaction to this is, wow, that is one dumb motherfucker. Because if he thought Heavy Rain sucked, it means that he doesn't fucking like games. What he likes to do is probably play one little particular style of game, and he has his thumb up his fucking ass and doesn't understand what a Damn. Know, truly good game is. So fuck that guy. Anyway. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh. Fuck that guy! Jesus, I didn't expect that much hate. That was the king I of thought hate. <laughs> I thought I thought DSP loved AVGN. Now it's that motherfucker. Fuck that guy. What are we yeah. talking about? Well, I think it's worth it. It's short enough that we can do it again here. Let's just play it again in full. In, well, no stops. Because he just goes <laughs> off on AVGN for no fucking it problem. Here we go. Let's go. Is, and that's from Charlie. Uh, and my reaction to this is, wow, that is one dumb motherfucker. Because oh, excuse me. I think we're being dented here, Atlas. We are being dented. Are we dented? I think, yes, we are being dented. He's talking about the qu person that asked the question, not AVGN. Oh, oh and they, the yeah, okay, okay. Yep. I get <laughs> lost when the guy talks. He says so much <laughs> nonsense. I just, I space. We need to get that, um, you know, that clip where a guy says, am I, am I retarded? We need that for, am I dented? We need that. <laughs> you know, looking yeah, at the yeah, mirror, am I yeah, dented? Yeah. So at that point, I said, forget it. Um, but anyway, it looks like the nerd did a Q and A. Let's hear it now. Let's hear uh, it. One of the questions was, "Have you played any recent games that you thought were really bad?" And someone in the audience said, "Heavy Rain," uh, really loudly. And I was wondering what your reaction to this is. And that's ah, what okay, my oh, fault. Oh, it was the de it was your the fault. it was the regard in yep, the uh, in yeah. the audience. I get it now. It's okay, awful. okay, all right. My bad, my bad. Early. I'm dented. Uh, I apologize. Is, wow, that is one dumb motherfucker. <laughs> because if you thought Heavy Rain sucked, it means that he doesn't fucking like games what he likes to do is probably play one little particular style of game uh -huh. and he has to thumb up his fucking ass and doesn't understand what a, <clears throat> a truly good game is so fuck that guy fuck anyway him. <laughs> fuck him. Fuck him. a couple minutes left so i'm gonna <laughs> now i'm gonna address some commonly asked questions meaning okay. i'm not gonna give any particular person who asked them because so many people have asked them that i just want to address them you know like a class action answer okay uh, first of all, <laughs> class action answer. Okay. Phil, what happened to the Court funniest style. 2010 montage? Blah, 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 blah. We were really looking forward to it. Uh huh. Pretty obvious what happened. Um, what happened? I was working on the top 20 games of 2010. I got them up on Blip TV. Then Blip TV shut me off. And so. <laughs> I wonder why they did that. Yeah, well, <laughs> how'd that happen? That seemed interesting. How'd that happen? <laughs> Everything got thrown a monkey wrench. And, uh. Everything got thrown a monkey wrench. 
Not how that saying goes. Just everything got, everyone got thrown a monkey wrench. They were throwing monkey wrenches around. He shut me off. It was free he monkey has... wrenches just being handed out. <laughs> Invisible Mute, you can do it on Twitter or Discord. Both are open if you want to send me some a link to, to play or enjoy. So, everything got thrown a monkey wrench, and uh, that right. new game Thank started you for coming out. Thank you membership. I appreciate that. Them, and now I'm on YouTube again. We got anime uh, on, man. There's really just no opportunity for me to do it at this point. If you really want to see some of my funniest moments of 2010, just search for it. And a lot of people have actually done. I think there were two or three people who've done really good montages. I thought for a second in my mind, I was going to say, like, go watch them. Like, go find them yourself, you know? If you want to find my best moments, just go watch everything. I thought he was going to say that for a second. <laughs> But he did. I, he still looked at his hand, though. That's what I was looking at. He still looked at the back of his hand when he had the three up. For it, and a lot of people have actually done. I think there were two or three people who've done really. What the fuck? <laughs> right. When he when he shows his hand, he has to look at it afterwards. And just search for it, and a lot of people have actually done. I think there were two or three people who've done really good <laughs> montages. I saw them. I was like, wow, that's really good. He picked some of my funniest moments of the year. Uh, in fact, I probably would have used some of those moments in my own montage. And I do apologize to all the fans that that happened. Uh, here's hoping that next year we don't have all this chaos at the end of the year. Oh, yeah, and uh, I'm able to put together something really great. But unfortunately, at this point, I'm just I'm going to be busy with other games and stuff. There's no point in going backwards when I can head forward. So sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, get fucked. Uh, number two. <laughs> Phil, are you going to play this specific game? Are you going to play that specific game? Are you going to play Heavy Rain? Are you going to play... Uh, what's the one everyone asks me? Oh, Dragon Age, Ch Dragon Age Two. Are you gonna play, um, Elder Scrolls Five? Even though I've said a hundred times, yes, I'm gonna try to play Elder Scrolls Five. People keep fucking asking me the same question. Uh, are that's close to berate. We have a zero berates today, oddly enough. But are you gonna play we also it? don't have like... any funny story, and no, I'm no funny. honestly yep. upset about it. No funny. Oh fuck, I kind of forgot about literally. He doesn't say literally a lot in these days, though. It's really weird. There's no literally, there's no berate yet, and there's no, it's funny. We have a lot of, we have one paper only, too, so here we go. Play MK9. Yes, I've said that a thousand times. Um, oh. Please don't use the Ask the King as, a, as an opportunity to ask me one specific game. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's a waste <laughs> of a question. I'm not going to drop everything. It's their question. One specific <laughs> game. Anyone who's followed me for a, a while knows that I regularly put out, every couple of months, a video that has my gaming schedule. Uh, and I'm going to continue to do that. So the next video that comes out, you'll know exactly what I'm playing. Uh, okay. And that'll probably come out, I would say, probably right before Marvel 3 is released because I'm going to want to let everyone know exactly what I'm playing during that time, even though it might be very Marvel-centric. There's other games coming out that I'm going to want to try. So you stay tuned for that. Okay, we're staying tuned. All right, yeah. this one I will Listen address. Listen to the schedule. I do it every day. Am I going to play Duke Nukem? Did I hear the announcement about Duke Nukem? Yes, I heard. In fact, I'm signed up for their mailing list. And I found out that... <laughs> I'm signed up for their mailing list thing. Yes, Duke Nukem is coming he was out so in May hyped. of 2011. <laughs> he loves Duke Nukem, dude. He's a badass. Finally, Duke Nukem Forever, after over a decade of development... I'd love to see him play that game today. I wonder, yeah, because he... Oh, I know he's kind of he just says like fucked up shit to people. He's like a rude dude. I think he can still laugh at that fine, right? Well, there's too much. But like the opening scene is those two girls giving a BJ, right? So that way to oh, instantly yeah, that's so, uh, back in the day, <laughs> man. I, I don't know. I guess <laughs> question actually. How would he say that? How would he deal with that? From that original studio, went to a new studio, and now Gearbox, I believe, is is finishing that. Um, and I'm excited. I've seen some of the footage. It looks good. I mean. Yeah. I honestly, I think that the game was ready 10 years ago, and I think that that one guy who had creative control was a fucking lunatic. And <laughs> if anything, all the people who worked for him should have, said, should have said, listen, either fucking release the game or we all quit. Because we're tired of remaking your game 700 times because you're, yeah. you're out of your mind. And uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, that's just my opinion. No game's ever going to be perfect. And no, obviously the game was horrendously bad. It shouldn't have been released. Oh, but... From what I see, the game looks really fun, uh, <clears throat> interesting, a lot of funny humor. You know, it's rude and crude, but that was the style of Duke Nukem back in the 90s. And now it's just a shame because a lot of the people who you know, were playing Duke Nukem back then probably won't play this game because they're all adults. <laughs> you know, I'm that middle generation. Adults don't play video games. Oh, he's going to say he's not adult. He's about to say it. They probably won't play this game because they're all adults. He's 28. Oh, by the way, 28 years old at this point. Uh, 28 years old. He's going to say he's not an adult here. <laughs> 
you know, I'm that middle generation where I was younger, but I actually played Duke Nukem on the back end. Um, oh, what? And so now, you know, there's a new... You played Duke hmm. Nukem on the back end? What? I guess shout out the back end, yeah. whatever that hell oh, for means. <laughs> <laughs> I played it on the back end. What? New generation that'll play it, and maybe they might not even understand it because they're not going to understand where this guy is, who the character is, where he's coming from. But uh -huh, yeah, I'm right. excited. Uh, I'm looking to get into... The beta when it's available um and actually they've they've started <laughs> what, what, did, what did he swat away <laughs> <laughs> a fruit fly i guess the beta when it's available um and actually they've <laughs> they've started uh all right this is very stupid but watch uh, this is weird too the question's so boring i have to look elsewhere he first does a stomach rub then moves up to a two inch chest rub and then swats at the invisible fly watch this this is a quick combo there is where he's coming from but so stomach I'm rub excited. Uh, I'm looking comes. to get into stomach itch the beta when it's chest available itch. um and actually swat fly they've, they've started, yo you're not uh, wrong though he really did so... hit him with the combo <laughs> <Yeah>. that's crazy <laughs> that was an interesting combo <laughs> exclusive launch parties where this guy is an enigma man. man what's going on here man <laughs> There's actually one this, uh, I think this weekend? No, it's actually on Monday in Las Vegas. Obviously, I'm not flying to Las Vegas to play the game. Obviously. They have one <laughs> Obviously. Why do something fun? <laughs> I might look to actually go and attend it and let everyone know what I think about uh -huh. it. So. That would be great. All right, one more common question, and then we're going to end this part. We'll go to part two because time's okay. running out. Yep. Uh, everyone's asking me about the P.O. box. You know, As you know, I got a P.O. box in December, and a lot of people sent me Christmas cards and things in December. <clears throat> <laughs> I threw those all out quickly. Can you send me more actual stuff? <laughs> um, and I was very they didn't have any money in them, so I didn't <laughs> yeah. even bother. Uh -huh. And people are saying, Phil, when are you going to do another P.O. Box video? Well, the answer is, it would be kind of hard when there's nothing in it. Um, oh, damn. Kind of hard to do it. Interestingly enough, though, I don't remember any P.O. Box videos. Speaking of, do you? I don't remember any P.O. Oh. Box opening videos. Oh, you I know, remember, I remember some stuff he got from the P.O. Box, but not like a P.O. Box opening video, which he's kind of is saying he did. It sounds like. See, I th him opening stuff sounds familiar, but whether or not it was a specific P.O. Box opening video, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm looking now. Oh, no, he did. He definitely did. Look at this. I'll show you one. We're oh, let's go. It. It's, it's we're not going to watch it, but here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is he did do at least one. All right, what's so going on, everyone? DSP <laughs> here uh, with two different things. First of all, I'm yes. testing out a new camera, which I've purchased. This is a new Sony camera Ooh. that is... This is actually recorded, though, let's see, yeah, uh, 10 months after the video we're watching currently. Actually, a Who's buying the Wii? He's got a Wii mode on the table. Come on, man. But the main oh, reason yeah. that I purchased it is because not only does it film in 1080p, but it also films at 60 frames per second. Oh, wow. So... I went to the post office and I checked my P.O. box as I usually do near the end of the year. Yeah, you can hear him swaying year. too. Yep. There might be some Christmas related stuff there. And as you can see, there is a large pile of things that were at the P.O. box. I so I figured this, this would be a office. Fast forwarding. Let's see what he got. I'd say I'm here for it if you're here for it, man. She comes up with just this one box at the bottom. She says, Big derail segment. Want, I don't need mailbox <laughs> segments. I don't need mailbox stories. Just tell me I what said, you got. Well, there's three vouchers. Do you really think someone would have put three vouchers in there if there was only one box? So she's all stumped. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh God. Karen's story from the post office. Now I got to hear this. God damn it. <laughs> literally, quite literally, it's just a drawer. Okay. Yes. So I open up the drawer and there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. And then there's all these... Of uh, vouchers, and what these vouchers are supposed to be is that each each voucher is says, "Oh, there's a package here for you," but it doesn't. Is that called a voucher? A voucher, to me, is like you pay for something and you might get a voucher to get it later. Don't you think? What's a voucher? Uh, to that you? make that make, that makes sense to me. That's the way I would describe it. But I'm the least experienced at uh, the United States Postal Service as humanly possible. In the fact, I've never been there, okay. so I, I, I don't I, know. Okay, but he has, he's gotten three vouchers. Now we have three vouchers now. Fit in your P.O. box, go up to the front desk, and we'll get you whatever boxes or whatever. So there's three of these, okay? Now keep in mind, everything that you see here was in the P.O. box except for this box at the bottom, okay? okay. Everything else was inside the P.O. box. So I go up and I hand them these three vouchers, <laughs> and a woman goes to the back, and she comes up, and she comes up with just this one box at the bottom. And she says, uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
There's only there's only one box back there. And I said, well, God, sorry, PO box op employee. There's three vouchers. Do you really think someone would have put three vouchers in there if there was only one box? So she's all stumped. Oh, I don't know. I'll go back and check again. And this is the problem that I've I've been trying uh -oh. to relate everyone with the the. the U.S. Postal Service in my area, it's uh -oh. god-awful, okay? Things get lost all the fucking time. The mail carriers are horrible. They don't care. They're not, they're not paid enough to care. And <laughs> you'll get mail in destroyed condition. It's just, it's a sad state. And every time I go to the post office, you have to wait in line at least 15 minutes. There's no time during the day when you can just go no, there. I'm not here to just, defend the yeah, Postal sir. Service, so... Me either, me either, but, you know, it's fun to hear him carrying out. It's always a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, I have to wait in line. I finally wait. Finally, she goes, she comes from the back again. Like, 15 I, minutes is, like, you know, ruins his whole day of what? Playing <laughs> games, you know? I, mean, I don't know. I don't know, sir. I don't know if there's more packages or not. They're not back there. So, the Post Office may have lost two packages of mine. They may not have. I have no idea. So, what I'm, I'd like to say is... Everything that you see here seems to be dated from October or more recently. So October, November, December. You don't check your P.O. box for months? Yeah. These things are from. If you sent me something within that period of time. That is kind of wild. If you got one, you might as well just check the thing. Like once a month, I try to check ours. Once a month. I'm not trying to let something sit there for three months. Actually, now it's so busy. Yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> I appreciate everyone who sends me things. Okay, shut up. People who have just started following me over the past several months, and I haven't really talked about it. Yes, I do have a P.O. box, and if you want information on that, you can go to my phone. Okay, we'll go there. <laughs> we're, still not with, we're still not opening anything yet. Okay, here we go. I would like to comment that it's probably one of the hardest boxes to open without trying to damage what's inside. I don't know what the United <laughs> States Postal Service was thinking when they... <laughs> they made a sturdy box. Yeah. <laughs> When they created this box, because it's taped completely. So I, I don't know what they were thinking when they made the box, man. I... But anyway, <laughs> I would like soft? to say, All right. thank you to Doug from Florida, because Doug from Hello, Florida Doug. has sent me a copy of Mega Man X3, hey. which now completes my collection of the Mega Man X games. I now have every single right. and I'm not, I don't simple, care about but still, I appreciate it. it. Thank you. Douglas What's the over-under on him ever actually okay. using that? Zero. Up next, this is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, this is from Kevin Sam. Who is a fan I mean, of mine. Sam sent me books. I don't need these asshole things. Get out of here. And he actually wrote me. He didn't know DSP uh, was yeah, illiterate? Yeah, he wrote Damn. me like a PM on YouTube or if he sent me something on the, on the Oh, wow. Board. Game Master. He ended up rage quitting that game. Big ups. Thanks for that, Lord. Big ups. From yeah, Spotify yeah. .com, but two cool books. Check these out. You got Reality is Broken, Why Games Make Us Better, and How They Can Change the World by Jane McGonagall. Oh, God, that never got read. What's next? Nope. McGonag Mc McGonagall. Oh, oh. Shout out to Miss McGonagall. <laughs> From Harry Potter. From Harry Potter, <laughs> yeah, man. That is so hard to pronounce. McGonagall. McGonagall. Jane. She's a legend. McGonagall. Ooh. It's like a main Sorry, character. Jane. Probably made fun of that name. But, uh... What? Okay. They probably made fun of that name because what? <laughs> uh, reality is broken and then also extra lives. I mean, you're P.P. So Burnell, so... Yeah. So two video game related books that I will, uh, at some point, hopefully being able to, to dive into... And it looks like it actually has... At oh, some good. point, we'll it's hopefully be able to. Never happened. December, what is today? I don't even know what today is. The 8th? The 7th? I have no clue what today even is. Because I've been so... I, when I was sick, I lost track of what days Oh, you were sick. But, uh, oh. I, I apologize Just like to today. Because I didn't Always know he was sick. sending it. You know what I mean? I had no idea that this was going to be coming. A, time, a timely thing in the mail. So, the thing is... Oh, wait, so they set a time thing and it was too late because he didn't check it until three months later. I'd written that... I say when you do something for three months later, so yeah. I have to explain to you what it is. <laughs> Let's see what this letter Basically, is. Basically, a fan of mine is a high school student somewhere here in Connecticut, and I guess for a project, they were supposed to find someone online who they, like, either look up to... What's their project? Spend. And so he chose me, and he wrote me this letter. He said, Phil, I just have, like, one or two questions... It's for extra credit in a school project. If you respond, I'll get extra credit. I so <laughs> get fucked, kid. <laughs> Bro failed the class because DSP can't check his fucking mailbox. The that's that's low-key grimy. Yeah. yeah. The kid's homeless. <laughs> so, this guy's actually, he turned into a beggar just like Phil. Could you answer these questions? And he even gave me a self-addressed stamped envelope to send it back to him at his school. Oh. The only one thing that there's a problem with. Damn. He sent this to me on October 20th. What an asshole. Oh, you gotta blame him? You're gonna blame the kid for sending it in October? And here it is, you know, December, what is today? I don't even know what today is, the 8th, the 7th? So whose fault is that? There's one person to blame here, and it's not the kid. 
I have no clue what today even is because I've been so I, when I was sick. I lost it. You know what I mean? I had no idea that this was going to be coming a time a timely thing in the mail. <laughs> so the thing is, there is a self addressed stamped envelope. I will respond to this eventually. But <laughs> eventually, but, eventually, <laughs> you're already late. You're I fucking three months late, dog. Anymore, simply because it's been so long since he sent me this letter. So that's unfortunate. But you know, if you don't let me know about this kind of stuff ahead of time, oh. I'm not going to know about what it. Is he? I'm not going to have a chance to check for it. Oh, if you don't let me know what does he about want? it, <laughs> what do you want? Does to he do? want to comment on his on his unrelated gameplay footage so that he can delete it and say it's derailing? Like, is uh -huh. that what he wants? Yes, he does. All right, hold on to your butts. Fan art I time. Think it might actually be on the art. So let's take a look. Let's see how dented this fan art is. Yeah, here oh, we go. Jake, God. Jake Malo. Is that berating the questioner, Royo, by the way? Uh, John Rambo and DSP versus Dead Rising 2. Oh, I'll try to put it, bring, it, bring it closer to the camera to see if you could see it or not. But yeah. All right, what's your take on this? Let's see if we get a clear shot of it. Uh, maybe not be able to. Okay, now we're... There's the close-up <laughs> the title. Can we see the art, please, sir? Or... Oh, here we go. Do we ever get a clear frame? Oh, here we go. That's kind of clear. That's not so bad. Yeah, Jake, yeah. Jake uh, Malo. Big ups, Jake. Hope you, uh, Big ups. Hope you escape the vortex, though, at some point. But Drawing art. There we it's, go. That's hey, that's shot. pretty clear. There's a clear shot. Jake Malo. Big ups, Jake. But it's not well. the worst fan art he's ever showed on, oh, on, the, no. on stream, no. though. So. This is great. This is great. <laughs> this is great comparatively. By Jake. Thank you, Jake, for that. I love fan art when I do oh, get it. Oh, Jake Mala made a bunch of money. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully he's working on, like, the next Dead Rising. I like to show it all. That is awesome. Awesome. Thank dude. you very much. That would so me, me dressed up like Frank West and John oh, yeah, dressed up sure. like, uh, uh, fuck. No, I don't I'm not a fart. Whatever his name is. <laughs> Chuck. Whoa. There you go. Dressed up like Chuck. Although it's funny because in the game. Oh, it's funny. I think John actually played oh, as Frank yeah, West yeah, yeah, and I was yeah. Chuck. I'm higher. So. And the roll reversal there. Right. <laughs> roll reversal. And then last but not least, last but not least, you're know, like very cool. It is a series of six Batman uh, related action <laughs> figures. Those are not really action Yo, figures. Yo, Funko Pop. They are Just trying to dump off shit they don't want, I right, guess. Mystical Pop <laughs> those figures. Yeah, Vega 2011, these were hot, man. Like, you know, little cool caricatures of famous. Batman Great camera, slash, dude. Uh, you know, Loving this it's camera. all Batman characters. This is like the first wave of This is the new camera. Uh-huh. The Riddler. Oh, yeah. Riddler. You got Riddler style. Penguin. Penguin. With his eye monocle. <laughs> his eye monocle. What else could as, as opposed to the what other <laughs> monocle, man. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Opposed to the nose monocle. Mrs. McGonagall wrote the book. <laughs> <laughs> also the Joker. Of course, they had to go with the Joker, the maniacal Joker. Look at him. Maniacal uh, Joker with a monocle. <laughs> and then also Batgirl. Oh, Batgirl. Which I think is kind of an odd choice for a first wave. You think they would have more villains? Yeah, we or didn't know that he was going to be married in the future. Yeah, Maybe they want a girl. I don't know. Oh, it's kind of an odd choice here. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Robin. So I guess this is the whole first series of these. We don't even get a name drop for Robin. Just put him back in the box. He doesn't know who that is. He's just like, uh, this is uh, some other character. I don't know. And these, these are actually, I would have known this kid? Clue I don't know. who these were from. Okay, because I'm even looking. I look at the invoice here, and the invoice is like, well, here's the shipping address, and that's my my PO box address. <laughs> uh, it's from you know, it's from a business like. Who is rocking? I wanna rock. And he's and he's. Rock, he is on a business. boat, man. And Party rock, like, wow, right now. You know, I really have no idea who this is from. Holy There's no shit. message or nothing. And finally, it lists the buyer name. It's from Gamer Nicole. God damn. So Gamer Nicole, shout outs, Gamer Nicole. Hey, uh... <laughs> on paper, big ups. I wonder if people sent literal turds or dead rats. Didn't he speak of someone sending? Some shit before I remember. That I want to say that that's factual. Yeah, I want to yeah. say I've heard that someone sent shit to him at least once. Uh -huh. He's but told that. Big ups to Gamer Nicole though, sending this box of Funko Pops. Gamer Nicole famously uh, enjoyed DSP enough to make highlight videos for him. Uh, and then when Leanna was to announced, she stopped making those videos and announced her departure from the you know following DSP. She announced that on Twitter. So. 
That is where D uh, Gamer Nicole is. I believe her Twitter is still up, so I can show you that for anyone that doesn't know about Gamer Nicole. Um, <clears throat> let me see it here. Gamer Nicole. It's tough to find, obviously. But yeah, she definitely wanted. She thought she had a chance with DSP, and was proven incorrect. Obviously, when Leanna was uh, unveiled, here is Gamer Nicole. And Nicole likes DSP. Is still her uh, her description wow. of her DSP. On uh, February thirteenth, two thousand and twelve, however, she said, "Also, I will no longer visit the DSP site and forums. Thank you for your support and consideration." Uh, due to oh, excuse me, this is the announcement. Due to recent events, I wish to inform everybody that I will no longer be making DSP highlights. And she said that after uh, Leanna being announced. So this this could have been. A, a in a different timeline, there could be. <laughs> this a, was our queen of hate. <laughs> this could have been for sure, and her YouTube channel uh, still has the videos up, and she was just a fan of DSP. She did like DSP. She had monthly highlights, and they got real views too. Look at this: eighteen thousand views, ten thousand, wow. fifteen thousand. This is no joke. Uh, but, however, when Leanna was announced, uh, she decided to make her exit. And that was probably the best choice she ever made in her life. I mean, that's what we can say for sure, is that was a yeah, good no decision. Yeah, no shit, she lucked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, Leanna had to deal with it, but uh, there is Gamer Nicole, if no one has seen her. And she does need a card, actually. I have not made a Gamer Nicole card. I do need to get that out there. But here is, uh, Gamer. this is all Gamer Nicole's presence for Philip, trying to get him interested. Cool collectible action figures, and thank God that they listed the buyer name on here, else I would have never known nothing that it was gets, from Nothing her. gets you into my so, heart uh, like a bunch of Funko Pops, uh -huh. that's for sure. That's the way in. <laughs> she knew she likes them. She knew, she knew he liked figures. So, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool and dude. so that is what was in my P.O. box this time around. Now, one time earlier this year, I do have to admit, I did check the P.O. box and there were a couple things in it, Yeah. Uh, including, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember exactly what it was, but there's our shit. So I can't even remember what someone sent me. Some letters and things that I do get from people that are in the P.O. box that I don't necessarily always show everyone. Because let's be honest, just looking at a couple letters, that's not a big deal. But this was cool. I had some stuff. Uh, so there we go. We, we got the answer. Remember we said how it, I don't remember a P.O. box video. It seems like this might have been the only one, you know, because he just said, I do get stuff, but I don't even check it all the time. You hear that? Like, I don't even show you all oh. the time, guys. So. Oh, yeah, dude. It's just a bunch of letters of people telling me they <laughs> like me and my content. Mean It's meaningful, dude. I don't check that shit. It's Who cares? All it's all boring shit, dude. So <laughs> I can't even remember it. All right. Back to regular scheduled programming. Box video. Well, the answer is it would be kind of hard when there's nothing in it. Um. Oh, yeah. Let's get berated for not sending enough stuff. I checked about two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, send me more free shit, please. It was a PO box. And I'd actually take that back. There was one Christmas card from uh, an Australian fan that looks like had been ridiculously delayed. I don't know what happened. Maybe it got lost somewhere. So I ended up getting it in January. But uh... oh, there we go. Mr. Hud stuff in the house. He always knows the lore. Two or three P.O. Box videos. The last one he complains that they have to email him so he knows to check the P.O.O. box. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Please email me to tell me when to check. Yeah, besides that, there was nothing in there. So if there's nothing in there, there's nothing to make a video about. Now... On the flip side of that, a lot of people recently have been asking me uh -oh. in the P.O. Box area of the forums, you know, about some interesting things, and I've been saying yes to some of them. So maybe in the future we'll be we'll be picking that back up. But you know, a lot of people ask me, "Gee, do you want this old game? Do you want that old game?" And the answer is no. You know, there's so Ooh. much new stuff coming out that wow. I'm going to focus on, especially when Marvel Three and Mortal Kombat Nine come out. Those are really going to fill in the downtime for me. So. We'll see what happens. I'm not saying that I'm never. I still thought he would have games. taken it though. Yeah, you uh, think you know, a lot so. Of people constantly ask me about that. Or, or he has 18 million DVDs, but he doesn't want old video games. Retro idea? Am I ever going to do that DSP retro channel and play old games? There's a very strong possibility I might. I that never happened. That's one oh. thing that never happened. A lot, of, a lot of stuff he plans here, he does end up doing, but that did not happen. <laughs> and that's not even that far fetched of an idea. Like no. he definitely could have done that. It would have maybe it would have done something. He would. I think he learned though from when he did retro playthroughs that they did not get the views of the day one. That's this one. He was still stuck in day one world. Like if it's oh not yeah day, day one. one. Yeah, it, this is legitimately when day one was how he got most of his views. So that's probably going to be a fun idea. But let's just focus on what's going on now, and then in the future we'll see how that pans out. Okay. okay. All right. So that's it for part one. We're running out of time. Um, <clears throat> when I come back, I still have a page and a half of questions. So uh, I'm DSP. There's Stay tuned screen. for part two of Ask the King. Yeah, I'll board. never unsee it uh, now. Okay, so next, last, last video of the night is part two. Mail, motherfucker. Yeah.
here we go. I'm so happy it's not over yet. I was yeah. worried. <laughs> Last, we still got part two. Don't worry. Yeah, look at this. Hell yeah. Here comes YouTube mode. Get ready for it. With the face in YouTube mode. What's up, everyone? Welcome back oh, to not too bad that time, Ask actually. the King. Uh, let's get right back into it because I have so many questions to answer. Um, next question is, hi, Phil. Seeing that you are... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at his logo. What's this... Okay, I know it's hard to see because I'm kind of blocking it. But I Oh, I'm just kind of seeing it, though. Yeah, what's that black line? Yeah. There's a it's black... kind of like when I poorly uh, when I poorly do my my JPEGs. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the black line is there. Let me scroll. I can't even scroll down because the, the video is over. But there's a black line. If you look where the A is, right, above Rambo's cigar, you'll see a black line that's just hanging out there for some reason. I don't know what. Does it go it's away? Oh, it stays there. Look, it's there. Um, next question yeah. is, hi, <laughs> Phil, oh, you know you what? Are, it's a wire. Uh, it's a wire from the phone. Like... I'm dented. We're all getting dented today. What? What? What it's phone? A, it's a wire from the computer, maybe behind him. Myself, I wanted to get your opinion on the I recent think. trend. Oh of shit! <laughs> <laughs> We're all going crazy today. Hardware and absolutely pathetic launch titles. What happened to the days where you had Mario and Duck oh, Hunt to start off your system? That's what happens when you got wires going all over the goddamn place. The That's not my fault. <laughs> yep. Launch titles for new consoles seem to be a thing of the past. Yep. They're now replaced by tech demos sent off as real games. Wow, this guy's <laughs> pissed, obviously. <clears throat> <laughs> Very funny. I think gaming companies are spending too much time trying to get the product out there instead of actually producing games that make consumers want to buy it in the first place. What do you think? Shane, a.k.a. The Smackdown. Um, <laughs> Thanks, shout out. Shane. I think you're spot on, Shane. And I yeah, think Shane, is... you're sound like a pretty much a badass. No homo. What we've been saying uh, for a while. <laughs> I might suck your cock. Like, no homo. Oh, I don't know. Hardcore gamer is. It seems like when these consoles are released, there's so much artificial hype created around them that there's already demand yep. for the product. And really, then when people get it, they're like, "Oh fuck," um, because there's nothing to play. Uh -huh. For example, the Xbox 360. What was on it when it was released? Um, Perfect Dark Zero, and actually, if you can believe it, that was the game people were saying was the best game for the console. Now the game is like, no one even remembers it. Uh -huh. uh, there was a racing game. You know, there were like maybe four or five different launch titles <clears throat> that were like, eh, this is a game that maybe I would buy as a filler game, but I wouldn't, uh -huh. you know, expect this to be like a blockbuster title. And it actually took uh, a couple months uh, before there was anything really worthwhile. If I remember correctly, I believe one of the Call of Duty games was the best game on the console for quite a long time. Uh, PS3. Oh, God. Just yeah, answer the triple. question. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really remember what the launch titles were, but I really don't. Again, I don't remember any, like, amazing, outstanding title that was sticking out. Uh, in fact, I think one of the major, maybe one of the major games that was being released as a launch title also was already coming out for 360. Uh -huh. So it wasn't like an exclusive, and if anything, the PS3 when it came out, Sony, if you remember, their whole ad campaign wasn't even around games. It was like, oh, get the PS3 because it has Blu-ray. Get the PS3 because <laughs> it has Bluetooth. It was all about the features of the PS3 Blue Blue and not Red. about the core reason for buying it, which was the fucking games. Um, okay, we're done. And Shane makes a great point. So. If you remember, when Nintendo came out, it got bundled with Super Mario Brothers and/or Duck Hunt. When you bought. <laughs> The Nintendo later on, it actually came with Super Mario 3. When you bought the Super Nintendo, it came out with Super Mario World. When you bought mm -hmm. the Sega Genesis, it came out with Sonic the Hedgehog. So what the hell happened, uh, you know, to these consoles oh, that all of a sudden they just decided to not... This might be the worst question yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no the shit. This is, is just, you know, the PS because, Triple like got I no said, games, but DSP then, is saying yeah, it this there was time. Some hype, but there wasn't this crazy viral internet hype like there is today. Today, like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, when Nintendo came out, yes. When, when the original Nintendo came out, it did not have the uh, viral internet presence. It did not have that, surprisingly. Not the 1982. It's so good. It's going to change our fucking lives. It's going to make waffles for us in the morning and jerk us off at night. You know, people are just out of their minds. There are people standing right outside of, of okay. electronics yeah. stores for three ignore fucking it. days to I buy choose a to PS3. Ignore that one. Are you an idiot? Right. Yes, the answer is yes, you are. If you were one of those people... I'm, yeah, you know, they, all right. Are you an idiot? The answer is yes. <laughs> and, uh... Oh God! Just, sorry. It, it, the, the culture is changing. It's more of what do I own? You know? Oh, I have a PS3 on launch week. Uh, I'm I'm better than all of my fucking friends or whatever. You know? Everyone is no, no, no. Cool thinks I'm so cool because I got a PS3. I mean, give me a break. No, I, mean, that's... <laughs> I was in school at this time. Like you were a bozo <laughs> if you had a PS3 over a 360. Come on, give man. Me a break. 
the only person that cared was DSP. Like he, you know, he's the one that d- cares the most. Couldn't get it on when he was a kid. Now he's like making fun of people that did. You know, yeah, because they already had yeah. one. assholes already had one. That's so stupid. That's so materialistic that it just makes no sense. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> these 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 game companies have realized they don't need to release games with the console because when the console's released, it's not even about the games anymore. It's about the hype. So Shane's dead on. I would love to see okay, with some of these one. new consoles coming out. The Nintendo DS, for example. I'm there. <laughs> what was that? Po- what was that massive point to the camera? Love to see with some of these new consoles coming out. The Nintendo. <laughs> like, what was this point? About? Oh my god! Yeah, this is like a... Nintendo. <laughs> Hello, you know what I need? Give me, give me. <laughs> Yes, for example. No, you I'm really hit him with the, the gimme, 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 though. Yeah. Wow. Or the yeah. NGP, which is the new PlayStation Portable. Why don't you release it with a good game? But the answer, again, yeah. is they're not going to. They know that it's going to sell no matter what. So yeah. yep. money and capitalism will change things in the world. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what a wrap-up. <laughs> what a wrap-up that was. Um, <clears throat> Shout out capitalism, okay, I guess. Uh, hey, change the world. The State of the Union address on January 25th, 2011. And of course, he's talking about the State of the Union address in, in America, where President Obama talks oh, about the Obama. state of the country. Uh, if you did, what are your thoughts? <clears throat> oh, wow. Are we get political side fill here? On what is going on with the so. government, and what would you predict will be happening throughout the year? Uh, this is from Jacob Ra- I'm sorry. Um, he left a nickname. So here's the weird thing. I know he hate. He does not like Bush. I've never heard him talk more negatively about a president than George Bush. So I'm guessing he might have liked Obama because it was just not Bush. But I don't know. We're going to find out together here. Average Gamer 18. Um, Well, here's the thing. I didn't hear the whole thing. I heard parts of it. And I was really getting inspired. Obama, as everyone knows, is one of the best speakers uh, we've had for a president in quite a long time. And and really, everything sounds great. And he even made this really historic... Uh, uh, you know, sound bite saying this is our new Sputnik moment. Uh, alluding- <laughs> I don't remember that Sputnik moment. Okay, it's I don't. I don't. Uh, the- I don't think that he said that. <laughs> but it's our Sputnik moment during the space race time when basically Russia beat us into space, and so America tried to get very competitive and said, "Listen, we got to land on the moon first And they rushed, 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 and yes, we actually landed on the moon before Russia. Uh, and he's saying this is our next Sputnik moment. The problem right now, the reason why our economy sucks is because we have no innovation. We need to be innovators okay. and make new technologies. And oh God. that's how we're going to get basically get our money back because we lost all of it. And <laughs> I was inspired by that. That made a, a amazing sense to me. <laughs> and then he was inspired. <laughs> Phil was inspired by Obama. He stupidly fucking says, what? well, how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to make sure everyone drives electric cars. Oh, uh, I don't know where we're going now. I don't know okay. where we're going. All right, so no electric cars. What's next? And we're going to have wireless internet for 80% of the country. Uh, okay, so electric cars and wireless internet for 80% of the country. And uh, TD, TD presence says Obama did say the Sputnik moment of our generation. So big ups. He did say this. Oh, big ups. I was a child. It's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't too. know. Those days I was still at my mother's feet. <laughs> <laughs> I like this email, I, too. I like it. <laughs> at certain times about Japan's internet, how Japan's internet is amazingly fast because the government paid for the infrastructure. The government. Not true. That this again, he always spits this out, but it's in big, it only happens in specific cities. So this is, he he likes to make this generalization that Japan is just government put internet everywhere that is just a hundred percent false. But here we go. We're gonna hear the story again. Built the lines. The government owns it, and so not it's true. A- There's private companies that that you have to get internet from. You choose a company just like you do here. Amazingly powerful. That's the kind of stuff that we should be looking to do. That's not what Japan's doing. So how can we do it? Not shitty free Wi-Fi for eighty percent of the country. We don't have enough fucking people on their Blackberries driving, going like this, and fucking Shout out to Blackberry. <laughs> Shout out to Blackberries and driving like that. We don't that. have enough fucking people on their Blackberries driving, going like this, and fucking... <laughs> this is Mr. Bad Back doing all of this, uh, too. <laughs> oh, God. This, could, this is what a pool looks like. Here comes the pool. What we got? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Hogan. <laughs> 
this and fucking getting into car accidents. Man, his fingers look extra thick fountain. compared to that Blackberry, uh. though. <laughs> because they're all connected by Wi-Fi. I mean, what a dumbass statement that was. And electric cars have not been proven to save any kind of money. In fact, oh, no, no electric car. Get fucked, Elon. Fuck you. There's no electric cars. What's wrong with you? A lot of the times they cost more money than oil because electricity is extremely expensive. <laughs> and it's just, it's uh, not fine. Okay. <laughs> just let him go. For people to buy. Um, yeah. People My... can't afford anything right now. How are you going to sell people electric cars when people have no fucking money? I mean, he has no idea what he's talking Dude, about. Dude, people can't and afford we... anything right now. That's why I'm buying a fuck ton of statues. That is the investment. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. That's what we need. It really pissed me off. It really, if anything, it shows me that what Obama is as a president is he's a really good speaker, he's an inspirational person, but he ha his ideas come from other people. Okay. Wet fucked. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's what it seems to me, because if he sat down and fucking thought about it for five minutes, he would know that those two ideas were absolutely ridiculous. So, I was really inspired by the State of the Union, and then I got really, really unimpressed, and I said, boy, am I glad that I really am not involved in politics, because if I were... What? So because you're not in politics, it doesn't affect you? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not I'm also in glad, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm glad he's not there. That's cool. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not involved in politics. So because you're not involved, it doesn't affect you, I guess. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. I'd just be more controversial because I'd be saying these things all the time. So anyway, uh -huh. that's one political quip. You probably won't get another one from me for quite a while. Was that a political quip? So enjoy that as it lasts. All right. Uh, okay. If you say so. I, that, that last two sentences that makes it, that was my that was a political quip, and I'm glad you can enjoy that while it lasts. Is I think that's what he said here. You probably won't get another one from me for quite a while, so enjoy that as it lasts. Enjoy that as it lasts. Excuse me. Enjoy that as it lasts. All right. Cool. Cool. Very cool. All right. Up next. Ugh. Up next. Uh, next question, dear Phil. As fans have previously asked you about the 3DS, could you give us your opinion on the NGP, which is the PSP2, basically, the, the the new version of the PlayStation Portable that's coming out. All right. Uh, and he, he runs down some of the, the details. It has a touchscreen, trackpad, dual analog sticks, PS3 graphics, trophy support, <laughs> just like the PS3. But also, there's blockbuster games coming out for it, like Uncharted, Little Big Planet, oh. Killzone, Resistance, Pablo Yo, Sport, Little Big Planet. Possibly Metal Gear Solid, and even Call of Duty. In my opinion, it would be better if you waited for that instead. And that's from Nil S. Or Nils22317. Okay. You want my real opinion? Here's my real No, what's your fake? Real opinion. Real talk. Uh, real talk now. I like portable systems because they're a great time killer. Uh, <laughs> if you're on uh, okay. Okay. a trip, if you're on a bus, if you're on a flight. Do we need to explain why portable systems are cool that we're doing here? Light. Uh, it, it's a good way to kill time, and it really is fun. I remember when I owned my original Game Boy and I played Tetris. That was great. I remember when I had the first Pokemon. That was great. Uh -huh. But I didn't fucking sit here, you know, in a chair playing it for hours on end. And the reason is because it's a tiny fucking screen. All right? The reason that these systems are portable is so that you can take them with you and they kill time. <laughs> so wait, you know what he's trying to say, but listen to the logic he says. The reason they're portable... It's because, wait, wait, hold on. Let me hear this again from him. He says the reason <laughs> they're portable. That's what he says. Playing it for hours on end. And the reason is because it's a tiny fucking screen. Uh -huh. All right? The reason that these systems are portable is so that you can take them with you and they... <laughs> the <reason. laughs> Yo, the, the reason, reason they're portable is so you can take them with you. Oh, yeah. okay. I wasn't oh, wow. sure about that. Okay. So the reason they're portable is so you can take them with you. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Got I thought it, got I it. thought they made them small so that I could put them on my desk and leave them there. But yeah. I'm glad that he explained this one to me. Uh -huh, I'd have been you. lost. That's, uh, that's why. All right, all right. Green. All right. Okay. The reason that these systems are portable is so that you can take them with you, okay. and they kill time ah. in between waiting time. That's really what these. Were they kill time in between waiting time. So you have waiting time. And you have another waiting time, and then you have in-between waiting time. And portable systems are for that in-between waiting time. Got it? Got it? Keep up. Created for originally. <laughs> and I really got to question how much time he's got. I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, have time oh, and shit. then time after it. That's not, that's not my life. <laughs> yeah, Joe G, that's it. Clothes are wearable because you can put them on. Exactly. Yes, yes. Now you're getting it. <laughs> and this mentality that, like, we need to soup up our 
portable systems. Oh yeah, who would want to make portable systems better? Now we're hearing why that's a stupid idea. To be just as powerful as consoles. You got the Nintendo 3DS. Why would you want to have, why would you want to make arcades? Why would you want to make consoles that are like as good as arcades? Like, why would you want to do that? I mean, what's the point? Yeah, that is kind of dumb. I don't know. Yeah, they, we already have arcades, dude. Who wants it? Which is, number one, has 3D technology, but from all accounts from people who have gotten test versions, after you play it for like an hour, your eyes are fucking killing you because 3D technology is basically an optical illusion. It fools okay, well, then you can turn it off. And that, that's another thing Nintendo did that printed money for many years. And your eyes aren't meant to be full I never of had one, but I wanted one so bad. Oh, they were hype. I got yeah. one. Now you have the, the NGP. Wow, this is amazing. I've got, you know... 1080p graphics and surround sound playing on a two inch fucking screen with two tiny little speakers. What the fuck was I thinking when I bought this thing? You know, the <laughs> PS3, it's great that the PS3 has those features, but the PS3 works on a giant TV with a surround sound system. So it makes sense for the PS3 to have those features. Uh -huh. It makes absolutely no fucking sense to have those features on a handheld system. Well, I have 1080p graphics, I'm playing Uncharted. But I can't see a goddamn thing, and I can't see any of the detail because I'm playing it on a portable fucking screen. Oh, like, it makes uh -huh. no sense. Right, and, right, right. <clears throat> hey, you can't make out detail I on a portable. Sony, unfortunately... Phil thinks that everyone on Earth has a huge living room with no other people in their family because he doesn't have a family, so that makes sense for him. But he's thinking his situation is the entire world situation, right? There's never a situation you might not have an open TV in your house, or you might not have a TV at fucking all because you can't afford it, so you have happy with the Vita, you know? He, 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 he thinks everyone has a huge TV and a surround sound, and that's the only way they can do gaming because why not? They have it. Come on. That's what he says. I'll, so that's, that's what he I'll thinks. I'll tell you, when I was a kid, my parents had the uh, the consoles in the living room, and once they got home from work, that shit went off. We yeah. were not we were not playing games no more, and I was thankful I had a DS at one point. I could just play games and shit uh -huh. while they watched whatever they wanted to watch, because that's how it went. Yeah. I definitely didn't live the way DSP did. No, that's but he thinks everyone did. <laughs> to say this is continuing in their their line of push the technology before there's demand, and yes. <laughs> This is again. So don't make anything new until people demand that you make the that thing new, right? Don't improve anything until people demand you do that thing. No need for innovation. Who needs innovation? Wait until people demand that exact thing. That's we've heard this many times. Push the technology uh -huh. before there's demand. Ah. And yes, we know that when the PS or the NGP is released, it's going to sell out because as I've already said, there's this artificial hype, there's this internet buzz about these things. Mm, and it's like, oh, hype. the new PSP is coming out, and it's not just another re-release of the PSP, it's the sequel, it's going to have all these uh -huh. amazing features. People said the same thing when the PlayStation 3 came out, you know? <laughs> and You're saying that was a failure? What are we going with PS3 talk here? Now, here we are, how many years into the PS3 release, how many people are still talking about Bluetooth? Just think about it. <laughs> I Yo, how many people? <laughs> I use Bluetooth every <laughs> single day at work. How many people Who's are talking about, about it though? Too many people are talking about uh, Blu-ray. Why is the PS3 because it has Bluetooth? Want to know why? Because Bluetooth fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. It's not as oh. good as the wireless technology that the 360 uses. And in fact, most people who own both systems say, "Yeah, I, well, I don't even use voice chat on PS." Most people, a lot of people are saying. What, what are a lot of people saying exactly? And in fact. It's a very nuanced thing for a lot of people to say. Here we Most go. Most people who own both systems say, yeah, I, well, I don't even use voice chat on PS3 because the voice quality is horrible. And I'm just, I like, if I'm going to do that, I'll play the game on Xbox 360 because it doesn't use shitty Bluetooth. Uh -huh. And uh, I feel and he's the implying same thing's going to happen. Like, um, a lot of people have both. And I just don't know if that was the yeah, case. I like, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Wasn't my but experience. I had one and then I had the other. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> GP, everyone's going to buy it. Wow, there's all these great games. All right, so Ink Blessing is in the house. We always make sure to give the benefit of the doubt. At the time, he was kind of correct. Bluetooth was horrendous on launch, and the tech just sat stagnant for a long time before it was developed any further from there. So there we go. Okay. Games. okay. And then you're going to say, wait a minute. Why nah, the fuck I'm, I'm not believing you. I'm trying to this fucking little thing when I have a PS3 on a giant screen and awesome surround sound over there. Yeah, so how many people have enhances... this giant screen? He's thinking everything on Earth is a giant screen. The experience. Uh -huh. I mean, it just... It's a no-brainer. And in my home theater, dude. A console that's that's just as powerful as your your current generation console that's on a tiny fucking screen with little speakers. It just 
it's nonsensical. And Sony's trying to, again, push technology that no one mm-hmm. is really going to be able to utilize or want Don't uh, they, dude. after that initial hype wave. Um, that's my opinion. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of people that love, you know, they, they play their DS to death. Oh, they play their PSP to death. Yes. But yeah. realistically, I'm not seeing that this is going to be any kind of a a major deal. Uh, so, uh, it just doesn't make sense. Portable games are meant to be time killer. Give me a good puzzle game that I can kill, you know, 45 minutes with in the doctor's waiting room. Give me uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy, the next Final Fantasy Tactics, where I can play it for a couple hours on a plane. Don't give me a blockbuster AAA title on a tiny fucking screen okay. with shitty speakers. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, dude, the Steam Deck is um, stupid. All right, next question <laughs> is, that. I totally hey, didn't Phil, buy one. On the heavy rain so movie? stupid. What should they put in it? Uh, all right, the language is a little screwed up. Uh, uh should he... is that a berate? Language oh, is a little screwed yeah. up. Mm. <laughs> all right, we'll get. We'll say no. We'll, we'll be tough today. Still zero Weren't berates. You... I was going to say, we're going no two times back to back. I don't know, man. (laughs) It is the guy. We're being a little lenient. Characters. You watch it when it comes out because everyone was one of your favorite games of 2010. That's from Mandark. Did a heavy rain movie ever come out? Mandark. Um, Not that I've uh, No. If you don't know what he's talking about, yes, they've announced that they are in pre-production of making a heavy rain movie, which is exactly what I talked about a couple months ago in one of my Ask the King videos, incidentally. And, uh... I think you could go a bunch of different ways. I think if they stick to... No, they did not make it. Uh, it was upcoming movie. Oh, yeah. It was in production. Never happened. Let's see why it never happened. Let's see what Phil takes about this movie that will never come out. To the script of the game, okay? And maybe even get some of the people who did the mocap for the game. Like, if you've seen Scott Shelby, the actor who played him looks exactly like him. Obviously, that's the person you should pick to do that role. Um... If they do it like that, and they, I think this is a great Almost like they did mocap why. or something. Yeah, anyone ever saw the movie Clue? Okay? <laughs> the movie Clue, it's a, it's a murder mystery. Shout so outs like, to Clue. I've never seen Clue, but shout outs to Clue. Heavy Rain, but it's also a comedy. Okay? Heavy Rain's not a comedy. But it has multiple endings, meaning <laughs> the movie ends, and then they're like, well, wait a minute. That's one possible ending, but what if this happened? And then they actually go back about 15 minutes... And they recap Ooh, a completely different high. scenario that could have ended the movie, and they do that twice. Oh. Why couldn't Heavy Rain do that? Why couldn't Heavy Rain do, like, best-case scenario or worst-case scenario, then best-case scenario, and then do, like, middle ground, which is the realistic ending to the game, where not everything is perfect. <laughs> middle ground, that's the realistic ending. Perfect, but... So basically, just... yeah, you have a movie where you there's four different endings for all situations. Sound good? He's just asking for multiple endings to Heavy Rain. Like yeah. other games did that before and after. So like, what's a movie though that you can see different, different fucking oh, endings in the this movie? This is about just, the yeah. This is the movie. What it would be like. So they you show you one ending, then you rewind or not rewind. You keep going and then you see a different ending. So you get to see all the possibilities of ending. Sound good? You that sounds me? good to me. <laughs> yeah. uh, by the way, uh, categories. <laughs> yes, God does agree with me. Now, some things go right. So I think really this is an opportunity to make a movie that breaks new ground. A movie with multiple endings oh. in the same movie. And that, that would be so fucking dumb. I mean, what? How do you... In Clue, Yo, if it kind of makes sense. I mean, I get that it kind of works in Clue because like that, the whole basis of Clue is there's different endings for each time you play, but sounds weird there too but now we want to do it again with a different movie and that's breaking new ground even though you've already said how someone else did this go ahead honestly (laughs) i I would be upset if i went to a movie theater and they rewound the end of the movie like 15 minutes and we're like okay but what if (laughs) yeah i I don't give a shit dude can i go home now (laughs) yeah have you thought about this (laughs) pick it for example but maybe take some of the interesting different branches that the game could take and and run with it and i think that could be a really good movie do I think they're going to do that with the movie? Absolutely not. It's probably going to be a shitty movie, just like they're doing with Uncharted. Uh, completely changing the plot. The Something went wrong. Oh, my God. Try Something again. went wrong. Shut up. Try no, again. No. Try again. Google, Something stop. went wrong. Get out of here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. They're, they're not picking their <laughs> Something went wrong. Some dick. So, Ooh. that's probably what's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> they they're not picking them, and that movie's going to suck dick. So, oh. that's probably what's going to happen. But we'll see. <laughs> it's going to suck dick. <laughs> uh, a couple yeah. more. No, good, no. Point. 
Borat asks, is that your Bluetooth acting up? It probably was. That fucking... Yeah, dude. It's that technology he was talking about. No one asked for that. He was no right. No one wants it. More questions here, then we'll get to the Twitter questions. All right. Uh, actually, one more question. Okay, one more okay. question. That's Phil, question. I came across a post of yours from Shiyuka.com and you mentioned that then. while you were working full-time, you did not dedicate enough time to practice. That's a good fucking point, though. How many questions can you remember? We've heard 29 tonight. I can remember, like, oh, more. My... <laughs> I was just about to say it's got to be single digits. I can't believe there's been 29, 29 questions. 29 questions. I can remember maybe two. <laughs> oh, or man. Leader, I'm assuming, to be a top player. That is correct. Oh, that is correct. Uh, I want to know... You... Oh, wait. I want to hear if it was about him being a top player. Hang on. While you were working full-time, you did not dedicate enough time to practicing Street Fighter 4, or Super either, I'm assuming, to be a top player. Okay, that is yeah. correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have I enough time to... to be a top player. Okay. No. If you feel that anyone who has a full-time job doesn't have enough time to practice any fighting game, not just Street Fighter 4, enough to be a top player. Along those same lines, how much practice, hours, weeks, or however you want to measure it, <laughs> do you think it takes to be able to be a top contender? Are there any other factors you think limit one's ability oh, to be a top player? Phil fighter? loves this question because he could definitely talk about how the top players had more time than he did to practice, even though they didn't. But he's going to make sure we know that, oh, yeah, well, Justin Wong, like, he dedicated his life to it, dude. He could do that forever. And that's the only reason they got I, good. It's coming. I mean, he is top tier. I don't know. He's got 10 minutes to tell us all about it. Yep, 10 minutes. There's 10 minutes left, and this is the last question, so you know what's happening. Any game player, for instance, small, a small local scene. That question is from Private Joker. It's an outstanding question, but I have to give it a short answer because I have to get to Twitter questions. Um, oh, no, we have Twitter questions, huh? too. Okay, Twitter questions, too. Never let them know your moves. Take a look at the people who have been placing <laughs> at Evo. Um, and excluding Justin Wong because he fucked up last Evo, but obviously Justin... <laughs> what? Okay, excluding wow. Sir Wong. But Sir Wong still got the shout-out, but okay. Justin Wong, uh, Ricky Ortiz. Ricky Ortiz. Uh, you know, a lot of these people have been playing these games full-time, meaning they signed with some gaming team who sponsors them to fly all over the country and sometimes uh -huh. the world. Okay, cope and seethe, continue. In the case of Justin Wong, <laughs> to play these games uh -huh. all the cope. fucking time. Cope, this is cope. all these people do. I personally know a couple people in New York who play the game like eight hours a day. I'm not even kidding. Like, all right, I get up. It's almost like they want to be good or something. Uh -huh. online. Then I'll do something, you know, and then I'll go play my the, uh, my co-players here <laughs> offline for a couple right, hours. Right on time, anime. Then we'll go <laughs> online solved. again. Then we're going to travel to a tournament tomorrow, so all day we'll be playing it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot different. You know, back when I used to play it, there weren't a lot of people who took it that seriously. Everyone kind of had their own personal life with their own job, their own family, mm -hmm. everything going on. And then that was like their side hobby. Now it's starting to change. It's starting to become almost like a professional sport where there are people who are taking it seriously enough that it's their full-time focus. Okay. Um, Kind of funny because I used to always be on uh -oh. the side of the fence having the full-time oh, job, but now I don't have it, and I'm trying to turn this YouTube career into my job. Not this funny. might become my main focus. Dick Dick actually, not. fighting games may become my main focus, and so stuff kind of changing for me. So honestly, I can't answer 100% I'd say that's not very the question, funny. Uh, Private oh, I Joker, it. because I have never been in the I'll arena play. where I have been able to dedicate enough time to become, say, a top-level tournament player besides Super Turbo, but that was kind of a different scenario um mm. well, can you talk can you tell us about that different scenario sir <laughs> was there anything maybe it was kind of a port that not a lot of people enjoyed or anything or <laughs> different style Neo geo style <laughs> what i can say is this number one uh oh you absolutely need to have a good local scene if you don't have good people to play locally you will not get good enough at the game um okay then once you've built a good local scene of, you know, a bunch of people who play the game actively and giving you active competition, then you absolutely need to start traveling. And the reason I say that is this. Uh -huh. Perfect example, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, okay? When the game came uh -huh. out, there was a, gr a large local scene on the East Coast. Right. Everyone on the East Coast constantly Huge. played each other, whether it was New York, Connecticut, New Jersey. <laughs> we were all playing each other. Massachusetts, we were all playing each other, and we all knew each other's styles. Then... At one ECC, these styles. people mm -hmm. came from Seattle, and got, one of them got Sprotron, got second place. I mean, we're kicking everyone's ass, and it was because they had a completely different play style that they honed over in oh. Seattle. So you really need to expose yourself to the mm. maximum amount Seattle of players, Seattle style play. Uh -huh. of play Seattle style. <laughs> styles in order to become a tournament-level competitor. Uh -huh. Now, when you think about that, 
the, the question is how much exposure is enough and in my experience you really need to expose yourself a significant <laughs> amount to a, a Oh, that sentence he is knows funny. about. <laughs> you have to expose yourself a significant amount, guys. You need to expose yourself first style. a significant amount to a, a, a large variety of people. So, for example, <laughs> we're talking thirteen-year-olds, twelve-year-olds. <laughs> you need to expose yourself to a wide variety of people. Amount to a, a, a large variety of people. So, for example, if you want to go to really do well at Evo this year, you probably have to attend local tournaments in your area. You have to do a hell of a lot of practice with your local players. Oh. You'd have to travel to probably your regional events. You had to practice. So for me, that means oh. going to Winter Brawl, maybe going to Final Round, maybe going to some of the, the, the events in Chicago or oh, Atlantic Chicago. City or Florida. And then once That's I get all that exposure from now. all those variety of people, <laughs> taking what I learned... You got one in Florida, Chicago, Tampa Bay, uh, New York. Coming back to the local scene, absorbing it into my gameplay style... Trying to dominate Absorbing my, it. my local team with what I've learned, and then going to Evo. That's the way to win. Uh -huh. um, it's very hard to just sit around and play by yourself or play with a certain very isolated amount of people and become extremely good. Uh -huh. Unless you find a game exploit or a tactic that's extremely useful and no one else knows about it. Jesus, so unless you cheat. <laughs> I know he's not saying cheating, but unless you find an exploit, there's no way you can do that. All right? Sound good? Have to find an exploit. That's what we're talking about here. All right. Uh, the one. I mean, that is kind of competition, though. It's any advantage at all times. If you're not cheating, you're not trying to win. Like that's what they always said to me. I don't. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying like I know a lot of other people. A lot of people did not do what he's claiming here and be and got to the top of the game. You know, in 2011, there's already people not traveling the fucking all over the place to get good. It's online at this oh, point. Oh, for it's sure, yeah. Cope, yeah. It's cope and seed. Yeah, it's yeah, cope yeah. and seed. Uh, but... Well, obviously, these days is online play, where you don't have to travel necessarily to play. The problem is, as a lot of people know, the net code is not exceptional in the uh -oh. U.S. for these games. It doesn't work very well. The net code is not good in the U.S. They need the Japanese-style net code. Okay. Well, and so it could be very hard to play seriously competitive matches online. In fact, I know people who play online all the time, then they go to a tournament and they're like, oh, how did, how did that happen? That's not oh. supposed to happen. And the answer is, yeah, it is supposed to happen. The thing is, online with all the lag and the input drops and all those factors, they're playing a play style that doesn't actually work in an offline environment, and then they're surprised when it, it doesn't work offline. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's crazy to this day, oh, he gonna... still says this. Yep. To this <laughs> day, this he is still his big. In 2023, he says that's still true. The thing that you really need is money. Um, you need the time and the money and the freedom to be able to travel and play these different people and having uh -huh. a full-time job, it can be very difficult. If you don't have a job that, number one, is flexible with your time off, that gives you a lot of time off, and that <laughs> pays you enough to travel around. <laughs> the I think one and two are pretty much the same, aren't they? You have time off and you give time off. What? I, you either get time off and have and time off? Having a full-time job, it can be very difficult. If you don't what have two here? a job that, number one, is flexible with your time off. That oh, flexible with time off and gives you time off. Gives you a lot of time off. Ah, okay. And that pays oh, you enough okay, to travel okay. around. I mean, they're still kind of one and the same as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah. They're not really two different fingers there. But we, he loves breaking out the finger. The finger number mess, uh, lists are great. The country but comfortably. But does he stop after two? Is he going to stutter and be like, oh, I forgot, I, I you know? I think we got to three there. But yeah, but you don't have to get paid a lot if you just have the credit cards. That's true. t Ling, it's soldier. Just use your credit card. Cash advances, right? That's what he did. So. Uh, it, I hope he's telling us to do that soon. It could be very difficult. And so, yeah, there is. even though there's this strong online community, there still is a learning curve for a lot of people to become pro players. I don't want anyone to think that, you know, because I've been talking about input shortcuts and things like that, that it's just, it's all easy mode. It's not. It's still difficult. <laughs> Um, yeah. So yeah, that's some of the stuff that you need. So if you think that you could basically be able to do a lot of that stuff, then you probably have a chance of being a top player. If not, your chances are significantly shortened. It doesn't mean that you can't be a <laughs> top player. That's going to be your chances are significantly shortened, and we get the small gauge with the hand. They're significantly <laughs> significantly but shortened. Like how many guesses Micro would it take? Micro penne style. Yeah, yeah. Like how many guesses would it take you to guess he's talking about your chances right here? Like the thing we're talking about is your chances, and they're shortened, and that's the hand we decided to show. The hand graph here, the 
This is significantly shortened. Okay. Shortened, it doesn't mean that you can't be a pl top player that's going to win. It just means it's going to be a lot harder for you. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, now on to Twitter questions. We've got four this Twitter. week, and then that is it. Um, oh, four. First question is from Shane Cable, and his question is, uh, do you think that in the future motion controls such as Connect, PS Move, etc. will be the norm of head of controllers? The answer is this. No, no, they're going to be done. No. He, he hates motion controls. So the only yeah. way that they could is if the controls for games are significantly dumbed down. Right now... First of all, keyboard and mouse is the most precise method of control. Handheld hey, controllers PC. are <laughs> kind of like the medium level when it comes to being precise. And then motion controls is the most new technology, not precise at all. Kind of hard to get precision motion movements, precision shots, and things like that. Mm -hmm. If they dumb down games enough that it doesn't need precision controls, then yeah, those could definitely be... The controls of the future, but for most of the games that I play, I really don't think that motion controls could work. Uh, and the other thing that a lot of people don't talk about a lot is motion controls need physical activity. Physical activity makes you tired. I'm so <laughs> sorry, but who the hell's gonna sit there and play a 10 hour game of Uncharted when every fucking jump they need to get up and jump in place like this? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna climb a mountain. Oh, you gotta climb a mountain? Who's gonna climb a mountain? Come on. You're gonna climb a mountain for hours. Who's gonna jump? By the way, we have to see this jump in slow mo. What the fuck jump was that? Ten hour game of Uncharted when every fucking the jump, jump of a man with a bad up. back. <laughs> Why is he blocking like his this. dick when you know he jumps? I mean? It's such gonna, a yeah, weird. What, what was the cross? Arms in front. <laughs> yeah, the cross. What was the cross? Uncharted when every fucking jump they need to get up and jump up and play. Yeah, like what was? I don't get the cross. Like just covering up the junk. <laughs> What are the pants? It literally looks like he's covering the junk up on the... <laughs> I think he did want to show... Uh, yeah, he's ready to do DX. But yeah, are those PJ pants or... I'm not sure about the They look PJ to me. Yeah. Those things are probably as stiff as a board right now. A place like this, you know what I mean? Channel. You're going to get tired after a while, and so it's going to be really hard to take these hardcore style games... <clears throat> hardcore style. Them. Uh -huh. A control scheme that needs physical movement. So uh -huh. that's just my take. I think that hardcore okay. games will Great still take. stay at, uh, on controllers. And then possibly there will be some crossover and interaction, but Great I think take. it's really going to be the more casual games will have the motion controls okay. in the future. Great take. Um, Great take. Next question is from Wogrim, and his question is, have you reconsidered doing direct feeds since seeing live audio mixing in action via Howard's stream? Of course, he's talking about the don'tblowthis.com Super Turbo Revolution stream that we do every few weeks. That is Howard's. Uh, Howard had a website where they streamed that back-to-back -back cab. People playing games at Howard's house. What are you talking about? Don'tblowthis.com was Howard's website. Um, that's a funny question because you would oh. really... Oh, uh, is that... Uh. Does that count? I don't know. I love to see the fucking I feel like we're being awfully gracious to the guy if we don't. It's that's all I'm saying. It has a massive <laughs> video card. It's got a 900 watt power supply that I bought that was extremely expensive. <laughs> Super <laughs> expensive. I, he has to say I bought it. By the way, what he had to point that out, didn't he? Fucking computer that. They, that's a funny question because you would really love to see the fucking computer that they have hooked up to get that stream to work. It's a. You would. You would. That's a really funny. Qu oh, first of all, hit. <laughs> Not even funny. <laughs> he said, it's a funny question. Here we go. It has a massive video card. <laughs> massive video card. It's got a 900. As if size watt means watt. it's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> I bought that was a nine. Like the power supply means it's good, dude. They got a beast computer, dude. Nine hundred watts. You ever put held that kind of power, bro? Nine hundred. I mean, I bought it, man. <laughs> Come on. You ever felt what nine hundred watts can do to your brother? It's time to ride the lightning. <laughs> extremely expensive it's got all kinds of you know things plugged into it it's crazy <laughs> it's all, got all kinds of shit plugged all into sorts it. of just weird <laughs> shit the microwave we just plugged it in we didn't even know what it was gonna do yeah we got all kinds of shit plugged into that we got a, a usb fan we got a usb light <laughs> we're going nuts dude <laughs> we got a usb hub plugged into another usb hub you don't know what's going on here dude you'd love to see this it's very funny though <laughs> It was extremely expensive. It's got all kinds of, you know, things plugged into it. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. It's crazy. <laughs> you won't believe this, dude. The USB ports are jacked. <laughs> See that they built that stream. 
<laughs> my PC sucks, my desktop. It's really uh -oh. a piece of crap at this point. It's starting to crap out on me. And uh, so that's why I'm looking to you buy can't. a Mac very soon uh, for video editing purposes. Ooh. And uh, at Ooh. that point, probably my desktop PC will just end up being something to go on the internet, and that's it. So, no, unfortunately, I don't have a monster PC that could probably pretty much handle what I would be looking to do. Um, mm -hmm. And being mm -hmm. that I'm going to need to buy a Mac for video editing, I really don't see that I'm going to be able to afford another computer on top of the Mac. You're going to buy a what? For... A Mac. He was talking about buying a Mac for editing. I, that's what I thought I heard. Like, you don't have to have a Mac for editing. I don't know why he's stuck on this Mac thing, but okay. I mean, you can Mac, or you can edit with different, you know. I mean, if you want, yeah, I, I guess I mean, go crazy. But the Mac is cool. But I mean, or what? you know, doing the, uh, the 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 direct feed and stuff like that. Plus, again, I've said this to people. Ah, streaming stuff. He's talking about streaming. Streaming is no god. We're far away from that. Streaming. What's wrong with you? I can't do direct feed. Before it's hell a lot no. of extra work for what's direct wrong feed. With you? The best direct feed footage, honestly, is like it's done after the fact. Meaning they do the direct feed. Then they do the, the voiceover after Sorry. the fact. Or it is recorded at the same time, but then they do video editing to get the, the commentary over it. That's the best direct feed footage there is, and I can't do that. As you know, my playthroughs have so many parts, it would take so long to video edit every single part. Yep, too much work. Sense. Too much work. Yeah, bitch. can't edit. Can't Shout out that. 672. <laughs> too much do work. That. Get the fuck out of here. I can't do direct feed. Oh, God. I'm not saying that I'm never going to do it. Just saying, right now it's not viable because I would need a completely new desktop PC. Hey, and he would he would get a new computer to be able to do it, but not in for two more years after this video. Uh, the next question is from... Yeah, when's the PC going on the iceberg, both of them? Uh-huh. Yeah. The, the, we need that 3K lemon. That's got to go on there. Yeah. Okay. His question is, which of the big games that are supposed to come out this year do you think question. will flop? We're running out of time, so let me hurry up. Uh-oh, um, hurry up. What do I think will flop? I don't know. Uh, it's very hard to tell, but one thing I can say, and I hope that PS3 users don't take this the wrong way, but Killzone 2 was supposed to be the Call of Duty killer, and yeah, it sold a lot, but it didn't sell anywhere near as close to Call of Duty, and it was pretty much considered a failure sales-wise. Um, will Killzone 3 change that? I have no idea. Uh, no. I have, I'm going to play the demo soon. <laughs> So I guess I'll find out, but um, or the, not mm -hmm. the demo, but the beta. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen this year. There's so many blockbuster titles. I can't honestly. Great answer to the I question. A... Glad to get your yeah, opinion. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> kind of a cringe era for gaming. Always trying to be the the Call of Duty killer, anyway. And and he really bought into that at the time. So <laughs> answer that question. My last question this year is from SoCal84, hey. and it is: Would you mind making a segment comparing uh, Dead Space Two to Singularity's multiplayer? Here is the segment. Singularity's multiplayer sucks monkey dick. Dead Space 2 multiplayer is actually pretty good. All right. That's it for this episode of Ask the King. That was a shit. Get fucked, last person that asked the question. Shit ton Get of questions. Yeah, dude, we couldn't it. be bothered to give you a real answer. We just Fuck rushed that here. one out. Yeah. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, and my phone is ringing, apparently. It's vibrating. So hey, look at this. Look at this. He's still not fixing this editing thing. Like, he, it, clearly the image is way too big. Look at the Look at the buttons. We got buttonception wow. here. With the... <laughs> oh, Infinite high. buttons on yeah. the guy. It's kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> the buttons separate, then rejoin again. Watch, here we go. Buttons going back together. Here we go. Button, <laughs> button, button. <laughs> I got to go. See you next time. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Thanks a lot. All right, everyone that's here, what a legendary night it's been. Uh, oddly low on berates, but we still had a fun time overall. Atlas, what's your overall take on the night? Go ahead. Oh, dude, I had a blast. It was so much fun. <laughs> yes, it's definitely more fun with two people, so I'll definitely ask you again, my friend. Currently, if you oh, please. Them. It can get lonely oh, of course. here. Obviously, as you know, when you lose track of the questions, which happens all the fucking time, and he goes on for 15 minutes, you don't know what the fuck he's talking about anymore, it's better to do it with you here, my friend. So thanks so much for joining us today. <laughs> I'm glad I could be here. <laughs> uh, please, this is your chance. When's your next stream? Let us know. Spread the word. Any stream you got planned tomorrow, Monday, what's going on? Come on. Next, next stream, Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard, and I plan on doing the videos Monday through Friday, just like normal, all the okay. time. Schedule style. Schedule style. Atlas does not, it never drops the ball. He's always bringing it up. Oh, Frog Machine. Huge announcement. Episode three has been found. Yes. Let's go. Yes. 
Yes! <laughs> okay, well, that's going to be next week. Saturday night, same fucking time. Let's do it. Episode three in the house. You're all legends. Obviously, we'll see you at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. WPAG back alive. And then Marked One. On that being said, tomorrow. That should be a fun one. Marked One in the house. Ooh. So everyone's a legend. Atlas, you're a legend. Chats, you're a legend. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. All right.